the U.S. Colonial Marines. We get the job done. We'll never leave a man behind. We've got the best equipment. The best people. And we'll go to the furthest edges of the galaxy to show up and get shit done. It's not just the ships or the places you'll go or the enemies you'll defeat. It's the company you keep. The USCMC. We're there to... Hey everybody, what's happening? It's your friends, Slices and Dices. And we are here, we are live on Twitch. We are doing session 11 of the Frontier War. Many of you have been asking for it, uh, myself included. And uh, we are we are back and we are ready to go again into Alien RPG. Um, Where are we going? We, we, <laughs> we don't know yet. All I know is you're not gonna need any roads. <laughs> oh, LJ is going to be happy about that. Um, we are going. We don't need. Uh, but before I do that, I want to get everybody sort of like hyped. So um, uh, one by one, so, you know, we're, we are Marines after all. So I want to hear your battle cry. That's right. I said it. I want to hear your battle cry. Come on. Let's, oh we gotta God. Get going. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Let, let's, okay. Let's let, let's start with Patrick. Patrick, let me hear your battle cry. Hoorah! There you go. All right. Scepter. Battle cry. Rah. All right, Sarah, battle cry. Fuck! Close enough. <laughs> Jonathan, battle cry. Get some! And finally, oh, our, wait, we're uh, so our new, our newest member of the of the cast of the Frontier War, Maeve. Welcome, Maeve. Yay! Maeve, this is our way of indoctrinating you. Uh, let me hear your battle cry! Hoorah! <laughs> I don't know. I'm... <laughs> Pleasantest marine ever. I love it already. I love it. Uh, just remember, folks, uh, in space, no one can hear you scream unless it is the scream of the USCMC. So let's let's make sure that we just go full bore. And uh, yeah, uh, we've got obviously a new member of the team here, uh, Maeve, who uh, right over there to uh, to your right on screen, um, who we will meet uh, shortly. Uh, but until we do, we need a recap. So let me go and jump into the recap. Here we go. Brutal recap. The brutal, the brutal recap. Here we go. So, welcome back, Marines. Or should I say, those of you who have survived. Or returned to the Tam, -tam in one piece. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which is not many of you. Sorry to say. Um... You were all assigned to the world of Pandora to find two scientists who had gone missing from the nearby Gaholgod Institute. The Morgan's Bluff spaceport was the most likely place to start your search, uh, but you found shortly thereafter, landing, I should say, shortly after landing, that these two scientists were in fact killed. And that your presence on this planet was most certainly not wanted. Several Black Guard artificial womb soldiers lured you into an ambush, and only through a rescue by masters were the majority of you saved. 
During the fight, you found an android named Maitland who admitted to storing alien secrets discovered by these two scientists and that there are forces at play here, folks, that are using these alien materials to sow further conflict between the UA and the UPP. One specifically called Deep Void. A group of power players within the USCMC, Wayland Utani, and Hyperdyne Industries. Deep Void attempted to uh, reconcile this alien message that was intercepted years and years ago by an alien race known as the Engineers, and in doing so, stumbled across various alien artifacts and secrets and objects which have been weaponized within various strategic military facilities. <clears throat> After attempting to pass Maitland off as a corpse to the Black Guard, you were shocked to see a UPP ship come careening into the spaceport and offloading several UPP soldiers, which you, you uh, promptly you set up to, to knock down, honestly. Uh, you, you guys full bore went right into them. Um, it was at that point, however, that a strange object was deployed from orbit by the USCMC, a mechanized soldier outfitted with an exosuit and various forms of death-dealing technology. This artificial soldier went berserk, fighting friend and foe alike and blowing a huge hole in LJ and killing Ryder. But through a combined effort of tactics and pure raw firepower, you were able to defeat the mech, and extraction arrived shortly thereafter. As the UPP surged over the beaches and into the now evacuated Morgan's Bluff spaceport, the Tamba Tam sent in the cavalry with dropships called in to evacuate you and bring you home. There, you came to understand that your CO and many of the Marines in the second unit were not on board and that you were now to report to another, Colonel Edward Myers. And that is where we begin tonight, folks. So before we do, however, get into the story, um, as we do in every um, uh, uh, new session aboard the Tamba Tam, uh, you guys get to spend your well-earned experience points. So let's just go with what exactly you guys chose to spend your experience points on, and if you were able to be trained in them, uh, or or not. So let's go with uh, the, well, let's go with our survivors here. Let's go with Kohavi first, who is spouting a a fashionable new eye patch. Can you pull that up for people, by the way? It's on the screen. Artwork. It's on the screen. Fantastic. Um, it is uh, <laughs> it is not fun for Kohavi, and amidst the sort of physical therapy and healing around the the med tanks, uh, I think uh, Kilhavy is going to be um. Working on taking the second wind talent, if possible, learning how to kind of build his his reserves and and stamina back up. It's it's very possible that he was just in cryo too long and and kind of forgot some of the endurance things that need to to happen when one is an active marine. Yeah. Um. I also am going to find the shooting range here on the Tam, and uh, with uh the with the uh the scope rifle that I picked up. From from Ryder's body, taking taking on the long range elements of the team, continuing kind of on with where Kilhavy sat in his previous his previous platoons. Uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be starting to train with using the scope rifle, so I'm gonna take ranged combat for my second. Okay, uh, and then my third, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue taking piloting um, because making my promises to LJ about keeping people alive includes occasionally being the wheelman mm -hmm. or the pilot if we don't have one. So I'm gonna bump up. A little bit more of what I have on the team, so that I can I can still be useful and contributive, even if I'm maybe not a front lines fighter. As Understood. I think psychologically, especially with the I, did, did we roll on camera and tell people that I've also got the the, the nap relief stuff? Was that on camera or after? Yeah, uh, that was that was on camera. That was before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I I, th I think with him being completely sort of shell shocked by the way everything went down and and getting that penalty. He's he's gonna want to try and stay distanced and and reevaluate how he rushes into things or doesn't rush into things. Okay, cool. So you're taking some skills. 
but not so much two with skills the, with the with and a, a talent and a talent. Okay. Yeah, I've got three left over. Okay, fantastic. And these are uh, okay, great. So we have three we have three experience points left over. Make sure you mark those on your uh, on your yep. character sheet. All right, let's go with Summers. Summers, what uh, what have you trained in? All right, so I was also um, pretty messed up during that uh, operation. Took a gouged eye and a busted kneecap. Um, as part of the physical training, did a lot of um, stuff to get my leg back into working order. And during that time, I also took the uh, same uh, courses that Kalevi was taking for a second wind. Um, and also um, the physical training and uh, therapy really got me back into it. And I decided to push even harder. And I've given myself a plus one to mobility. Mm -hmm. so I'm even faster. Um, you can bodyguard twice as fast. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jump! Faster! Jump in front of somebody! Faster! <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm also going to be taking Nerves of Steel. Ah, yes. This is a great Hello. talent. Uh, as, as as evidenced by uh, our, our uh, departed uh, friend, Groose, Nerves mm -hmm. of Steel helps quite a lot in Le Panique Situationis. So, yeah. yeah. And she she's doing taking this one because she felt that while the wound made it so that she couldn't exactly bodyguard, um, what really threw things out of uh, out of control in the factory was her freaking out. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair. So, and how many experience points do you get left after that's that? Three things, so fifteen points. I have three left. Superb. Make sure you mark that on your uh, newly improved character sheet. Thank mm -hmm. you, Roll20, by the way, for improving those or whoever uh, made these amazing uh, alien RPG character sheets on Roll20 because they're great and they continue to improve our play with them uh, during the game. All right. And then finally, we have uh, Senora Masters. Mas Miss Masters, what did you choose uh, for your uh, improvement? Uh, starting out with skills. Um seeing that uh betsy was definitely uh, a game changer with a lot of what happened on that planet she has decided uh to bone up on her ranged combat a little more she's originally a close combat fighter but she had to take another point in ranged combat spending a lot of time on the range uh and in doing so is also going to train for the rapid reload talent in which she can reload as a fast action instead of a slow action Okay. And uh, also, having watched her team just get the shit kicked out of them, like she came back only down only one health point from this mission, largely due to the fact that she wasn't in the factory when shit went down. Uh, but she's also, you know, up her jogging regimen even more hardcore uh, and has taken an extra point to stamina and is also going to train for the second one talent. All right. Cool beans. So she has two talents to roll for. All right. Uh, and that's 20 spent, leaving me with three. All right. So let us go with the rolls for those talents. Let me just make sure that I have the correct uh, rules with regards to rolling for talents here uh, with experience points here. Give me one I second. had them up a second ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let if just... you don't have anyone to train you, right? then you, you make a straight, a flat wits roll mm -hmm. to see if you succeed. And you can do that once per day. Yeah. And this so, is this is a this is when you're talking about this, this is a talent that is new that no one else has. That no one can that no one else has. If you're learning it from somebody else and mm -hmm. they're training you, yeah, then you're all automatically seed. So like theoretically, mm -hmm. with if we've got multiple days on board the ship before we get back off again and one person succeeds in their second win roll, then technically they could train the rest of us the next day. All right. So for the three of you remaining Marines, uh, I ask you for your talents that you've chosen. Are any of these talents brand new talents as in no one has these talents uh, amongst your group? I believe they all are, yes. I have for bodyguard, me, for... though. You I have can... bodyguard. So have yes, you can train, train Colhavia bodyguard. Body body yeah. Okay. So I'll go one by one. Colhavia, do you have any talents that you have that are brand new? Uh, no, I... So mm. people have them. Yes. Cool. All right. So then they automatically succeed. Cool. Summers for you. Um, 
It's Nurse of Steel and Second Wind. Does I'm anyone not... have Nurse of Steel anymore? Bruce did. But... Bruce, Bruce did. did. Yeah. yeah. But he did, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. That could be done with the gamble roll, I think. We can roll for that. Sure. Yeah. And then the other one was... No, it uh, was um, Second Wind. Second Wind. And who, do, who has Second Wind amongst the three of you? Nobody. Nobody. So you'll have to roll for that roll. as well. Okay. okay. Oh, I thought somebody had Second Wind. I do have no, to roll No, no one has Second Wind. Okay, yeah. so you'll have to roll for those. All right, so let's go ahead and move y'all. And I have, to roll, I have to roll for both of mine. Exactly. That's what we established. So what we'll yeah. do is let's go ahead and move y'all over to the campaign uh, Roll20 map where you will all see the rolls and we will do this live um so yeah let's let's go with uh let's go with the rolls here folks just the rolls um let me make sure i get that up on screen and if people are putting it in their character sheet uh i can drop in the zoom chat the description for second wind awesome because a bunch of us are taking it all right so let's go one by one um let's go with the rolls for colhavy for those the talent that you will need to do which i believe is uh Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my mind. Second, Second wind. wind. I am rolling stamina for that. No, you uh, just no. you roll it's a wits. wits. Uh, wits. Just... Mm -hmm. wits. Ooh, it looks like you can actually highlight and roll them now. That is correct. You can. Yay! You can roll base attributes now. Yay. Yay. Um, so just click on that no little button in the middle of your modifier. character sheet that says wits. And let's see if you get a success. Any modifiers from watching other people use something like it before now or nope. That is a failure. Oh, God. Oh. Flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, unfortunately, no go for that. But you retain your, your experience points for, for that if you wanted to use it. All right. Uh, so, you'll have those extra extra experience points if you wanted to use them for something else. Okay. Well, and uh, if, we're, if we're on the ship for more than a day, you can try again as the session goes on. Oh, I did not know that. Okay. Yeah, it's once you can you can make a wits a wits roll once per day oh. that yep. you're on board. Okay, uh, that you're like awake. I'm assuming like you can't like well, do yeah. it like while you're in hypersleep or some shit like that. I would assume not. All right, <laughs> <laughs> I have Tomorrow. learned how to do this in my sleep. I know kung fu. All right, um, let's go ahead <laughs> with uh, Summers. You have uh, nerves of steel, I believe. Correct. All right, let's see how that goes. One That's a success. Yeah. All you need is one. So yeah, you definitely get the, your nerves of steel talent. All right, now second wind. And then the second wind. And you also get that. Nice. All right. Excellent, excellent. And then finally, Ms. Masters. All right, so first up, rapid reload. Oh, right, no mods. Success. And then? And then uh, second wind. I love the fact that you guys are all Fail. doing. Uh, you're, you guys are using the stress from the previous like day. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a lot of these I are all. You, I asked you if it had gone back down yet. Yeah, no, it no. hadn't. You're like, I'm still training. I'm still stressed <laughs> out, and I'm still training. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, a lot of these talents were mo are motivated by the stress from the previous day. Fair, True. fair. I, I like that. I like that as a story excuse. All right. All right. So I get my rapid reload. I do not get second. Nobody got second. Win or no. Uh, oh wait. Master's got second wind. Does yes, that mean she could, just, that. she could just train me on that? On the next day. Yeah. Well, on this day, she could have, technically. Oh. She got it before I rolled, or you want to... We, she, we can wait till the next day. We'll wait till the next day. I think that's Okay. Fine. You tried, you failed, you're like, wait a second, she, how did she get it? What the fuck? God damn it, just makes me hate her even more. <laughs> Amazing. All right. The Great. rivalry. <laughs> All right. So I got my rapid reload. That's cool. All right, so uh, the three of you... Uh, come back, obviously, uh, and settle in uh, to the Tamba Tam. You realize that your CO is no longer on board, and you are now under the direct authority of a colonel in the Marine Corps, um, who is known as Colonel Myers. Don't know very much about him. Um, um, you actually haven't even heard of him, to be honest. Um, although... Now that I come to think about it, you guys are from Fort Nebraska. Yeah. Make wits rolls, folks. Let's see if you guys remember who this guy is. He didn't really pop out of Fort Nebraska that much. Nice. 
three for three. Okay, so yeah, I guess you all do remember that he was from, from Fort Nebraska. Um, obviously, with that gone, uh, he's now in charge of the Tampa Tam. Uh, what happened to Hanrahan and Simborski and uh, Casados? Um, I guess Meyer says that they were deployed to a different ship within the fleet and that you are now directly under his authority. Um, Roy, the android Roy, is still, however, on board, um, as is Maitland, uh, who you've brought on, obviously, as well as uh, Carrie Louise Wu. Um, it is another day or so flying out from Pandora uh, that, and you're still, by the way, not yet in FTL, uh, that you are able to ascertain the, the fates of these particular individuals, uh, specifically Carrie Louise Wu. Carrie takes a day on board, um, drinking quite heavily, probably with you, Masters. Oh, uh, that, that was that was how I ended the last session was mm -hmm. I went off to get drunk with her and oh yeah, try to get and try to get laid. Um, I mean, that may we we can certainly use a use a veil on that one if you'd like, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wakes up in the morning like I feel much better. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, for a wonderful uh, evening that could have ended much, much more horribly, as in I probably would have died. Um, and uh, you know, if you're ever, if you're ever in uh, in Soul Sector, uh, check me out because I'm heading home. All right. Well, you know where to find me. Not really. If you ever lost? Well, maybe if you ever lost in deep space again, we'll run into each other. Who knows? Just I... try to stay off planets that are going to get blown up by the UPP. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just going to stay in UA space, um, if at all possible. Like you know just far far away from the upp i don't think they're going to go as far as delta pavonis or the cerberus sector but you know hey just stay out of stay out of stupid shit you know what i mean i wish i had a fucking choice yeah i understand that um anyway my shuttle's here so uh hopefully uh hopefully uh we get to do this again soon yeah, well, if I survive this tour, you know I'm looking you up. Cool, cool. Uh, all right. Um, hey, um, I, I left you. I left you something in, in your locker. Um, just, uh, you know, sort of a remember me kind of deal. So don't die, cool? Cool. And she sort of, like, comes in for a hug. I give her a hug. I kiss her. I smack her in the ass as she walks away. She's like, I did not expect that, but I kind of liked it. All right, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> she boards the shuttle. Um, and as she boards the shuttle, um, a few other members of the Marine Corps board. Uh, these are uh, not Blackguard soldiers. These are just n n uh, members of the USCMC forces who seem to have been uh, coming from other sectors, um, relatively close to Pandora. Probably Muhur Krulis, uh, or uh, GJ1276, the Donavoy base, or something like that. Um, th these are in relatively close proximity to Pandora, which means that technically, if, if you understand your trajectory, you're actually not moving into UA space anymore. You're moving closer to the frontier again. Um... Some of these faces are relatively familiar, like you've seen them in, in training. Um, you don't really remember their names. And others are completely unfamiliar to you. Um, one of them sort of steps off the off the shuttle. Um, he's a relatively, you know, good-looking guy. He's got uh, uh, brown eyes, and uh, he's got a big scar across his face. And um, he, uh, he kind of looks around and... Uh, I don't know. Uh, Scepter, Scepter, introduce us to your to your new character. Well, well. Uh, God. My character is uh, Isaac Newt. He's basically the... Uh, damn it, where's the... He's the Comtech Marine. Probably someone who messes around with, like, hacking doors and that kind of stuff. Just... Everything that a bunch of 
bunch of hard ass soldiers never deal with. I'm basically the nerd. So that's basically me. So you're role playing yourself. Okay, we're good for that. I am clearly <laughs> not. Love it. Fantastic. Uh, here is uh, the the token for for said uh, contact nerd. Hopefully, you guys all enjoy. Nice, nice. nice. <laughs> love it. <laughs> yeah, he's got sort of a pair of goggles. Uh, like they look kind of like uh, <laughs> they look like diving, <laughs> like a diving mask. <laughs> it's great. I love the art, Mave. It's so good. Thank you. Uh, well, look, I mean... What are you wearing? Blue light blocking glasses over there, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I had a bit of a freak accident this one time. Near the guy my eye. That's why I carry these goggles around me now, so... Cole Havy stares at him with one eye. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Oh. I well, feel that, buddy. That's rough. Mm. Silent Nod from Summers, who has a different colored eye now. Oh. Nice. Faux pas, faux pas. <laughs> right, let me God. give you guys a little ambiance. By what a colorful amount of people we got around here. Huh. I like it. That's variety. Okay. Um, Myers says, Newt! Hmm? Fall in. Sir? Yes, sir. Uh, where's the, uh... Where have I fallen? Fuck. Well, Myers is the the only character who, you know, you haven't seen. He's the, the guy with the... the circle. So, scooch. I just... That guy. Right? That guy! That guy, move over. There you go. Fantastic. Okay. He says, Soldier! I hear yes, you sir. were... I heard you were, uh, deployed to the 32nd. Under sir, Perry. Yes, Sir, yes, sir. So, uh, what happened there? Well... Um... What can I say? I mean... Shit, what do I say? Uh... You better make something up fast! Because I'm, I'm starting to think that you're not worth my uh, assigning you to this new unit of yours. Listen, we managed to get the job done fast and quick. They need a hacker. Well, they, they need a tech guy like me around. As far as I'm aware, we managed to help succeed in their job, so... Where's the rest of around. your squad? Uh, they got deployed to some other... Some other ship, as far as I'm aware. And so, your ass just happened to be landing here. Lucky me, I suppose. Oh no, not lucky you, lucky them. And he sort of, like, gestures over to Summers, Masters, and Kulhavy. He says, They're all yours now, Newt. Or do you prefer mm. me calling you Isaac? Hey, whatever makes you feel better. Okay, Isaac. I don't like calling people uh. by a lizard name, it's weird. Fall in with them. Get yourself outfitted. We'll be heading out within the hour. Aye, aye. And then Myers uh, goes to uh, uh, another unit and starts to rattle their cans. It's an awfully cheery fellow. Ugh. So, uh, how long have you guys been out in the field so far? One day. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not really a fan of, uh, the way things are turning in this war right now. It's pretty sucky. How long has the original team actually been out on this particular mission? The original team? Like, yeah. before everything? Like, up till between Fort Nebraska and now? I'm talking about like masters and summers who've been here, the ones who are still alive from yeah. the beginning of this campaign. They have been uh, around probably for about altogether about a, maybe less than a month. Yeah, the, right. the last few operations took place across like five days. Okay, that's what I thought. I just wasn't sure. Yeah. Yeah, about a month. 
Give it take a couple of days. You? Damn. Me? Oh man, probably not. Uh, give it like maybe a week. But like, nah, nowhere as long as you fellows have been. What have you seen out there so far? Shit, you can't even imagine, buddy. I tell you, it would spoil the surprise. Welcome to the regulators. Try not to die. Cool tech stuff you at least seen out there, or...? Broken tech, mostly, so, uh... People don't yeah, know shit, how to... You might come in handy. Man, people don't know how to appreciate their line of tech. You know, it's how we run everyday lives, especially the ship here. Oh, God. Why? I'm just... Look. I like to do what other people don't like to do, right? If they want me to fix something, fine. If they want me to go through some other shit, fine by me. Regardless, hey, hoping I can make things easier on you folks. Easy doesn't really happen around here, but, uh... Yeah, well, you'll see soon enough, I'm sure. I think we'll get along just fine, hopefully. If you survive. <laughs> Don't see why not. I just kind of look at Cole Havy, and then I look back at him, and I'm like, that's on you, pal. Yeah, yeah, that's why I took the bodyguard talent. <sighs> <laughs> no, um, Cole Havy will actually probably say back, well, I can't babysit him right now. I've got to go get this checked out. I think the doc might be able to get me a prosthetic. I don't know. I'm going uh, I'm to go head over to the medical bay. Do you need anything? Nah. I'm good. Right. Oh, and uh, Masters. Yeah. I rem I remember you saying that Mac had a, a, a hookup for less than official marine gear. You think I might be able to uh, pawn off one of these, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show her one of the two good grip uh, rifles that we had held on to, which are the RMCs, mm -hmm. the F nine oh threes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had picked up two of them uh, between crashing through the wall and getting our asses handed to us. Mm -hmm. um, you, if you uh, if you know any of Max old contacts, maybe whisper around. I can get us some get us some cash flow. We could start bribing people down there and get shot at a little bit less. What do you think? I don't know, but if uh, if you take Artie down to maintenance, a bottle of scotch, he uh, he may be able to talk to you. He doesn't like me much. I, uh... But you're so sunny I, in disposition. I, I might have punched him in the face after a bad hand of poker a couple months back, but, uh... He liked Mac well enough, so, uh... He might like you. Well, uh... I'll, uh... I, I, I guess when when we have some time after I, I get the arm checked out, I'll, uh... I'll swing on down there before we leave the ship and, and do my best to talk to him. Do you, can you get me one of those bottles? Of, what I don't even know how much Mac has left. You you didn't tell us where the stash is. <laughs> I know, I know. I'll show what? you. Come on. Well, Wait a new ever... guy, and I'm gonna walk. <laughs> Cal I'm gonna walk Calhavy over to the lockers. Well, if you ever do get prosthetic, maybe I could try to help fine tune it some more, make it easier for you to move it around. I, I don't hate that idea. But here, like, if you like tech toys, start playing with this. I've got I've, I've got more duties on the team right now, and I'm gonna I'm gonna toss the new guy the uh, Spectrum Spotter Scope. Yeah. Because if I'm gonna be the sniper on the team, I can't line up my own shots. I don't think. I mean, you can. Snipers oh, can I do. Can... Snipers don't need spotters. Um, they're just better with them. So would it would it be just taking a full turn to line up the shot and give myself the bonus then? Uh, yeah, aim. Okay, great. I, I, I just wasn't sure about the wording of the spectrum spotter being an enhancement to the role. I'll take a look at it. I'll take a look. Okay. At it. I will actually uh, in that like him like him saying that be like oh yeah that's a good point. I'm gonna chuck him the sentry gun remote op that I found because he's probably gonna have more use for that than I will. 
Just don't touch my pups. They do perfect work on their own. Yeah, see right. what you can do with that. Never could figure out how it works. So we just throw a pile of tech at his feet. <laughs> After that beautiful speech about technology not being appreciated. <laughs> Isaac, you take three points of damage. You are broken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, is he another three health pointer? Ro no, I got one more left. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wait, you have four? You have four okay. health? Okay, good. Okay, that's one more than Mac had, so maybe we can keep you alive a little longer. All right, cool. I'm going to take Cole Havy into the locker room and show him Mac's secret stash. Phew. I imagine there was a false bottom in the back of his locker. You had to just, like, bop it in just the right place. Yeah, he had, like, one of these, you know, like, Fonzie kind of deals where you just, like... Yeah. And, like... <laughs> like, there was a little, like, little uh, secret... A little hatch. Yeah, a little secret hatch. And then all kinds of good stuff's in there. And I'm while I'm in there, I'm going to go see what Carrie Louise left in my locker. Cool. So you open up your locker, and it's sort of like been shoved through the... Um, like the vents? The vents, yeah. And it, it's a picture of Pandora. It's like a beautiful postcard-esque picture of the beach on Pandora over, uh, overlooking Morgan's Bluff. Like the spaceport looking out towards the east, towards the setting sun. And it says in in ink, it's a written in pen, it says, I had a lot of fun. Hope to see you on the beaches someday. Okay, I'm like, man, that was a nice fucking planet before the UPP blew at the shit. I'm gonna take it and tuck it in my pocket. Alright. Um, Summers, what are you doing? Haven't heard from you. Um, I'm just watching all this go down and just going like, hmm. So, Isaac, right? Yep, that's me. Yeah, um, along with all, all of what they said, um, I'm Summers, by the way, and, uh, nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. I am the automatic rifleman of the group, and well, let's just say that if, you know, something tries to put your ass in the ground, they have to get through me first, usually. I will certainly look forward to seeing how that works out. Yeah, and um, at this point, I, the, all the tech and stuff is like, so you really got a handle on all that. Oh no, this is fine. This is practically this is pretty much heaven for me at this point. Saying as I'm like fine like <laughs> examining all this stuff. So much I have to deal with. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, um I'm gonna go and hit you. <clears throat> Um, is there anything in the time off between missions that you guys specifically want to do? Second day of training on second wind. Let's yep. let's go for that, Masters. That means that you get it automatically because Summers already mm -hmm. has it. So yep. there's your second wind automatically. Beautiful. And Colhavy, how about yourself? Second wind and looking into getting a prosthetic arm and possibly a prosthetic eye. Yeah, let's let's eye. go with what happens uh, when Colhavy hits med bay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Um, so yeah, I mean, you walk in and you're like, help. <laughs> and the, the doctors there are like, oh my <laughs> God. What happened to you, man? I got scratched. <laughs> I'm surprised you're still, well, you're not in one piece, but I, I'm surprised you're still, you know, conscious. I say what and gesture with the Torn off bullet ear. Uh, that's what you the lost the ear too. <laughs> <laughs> the ear is yeah. for actually, honestly, the oh, ear is God. the shortest of the injury recoveries. Thankfully, it's true. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I just I'm remember just that like, like that really bad scene in uh, Pee Wee's uh, Great Adventure. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you. Oh, yeah, two days ear. Uh, five days leg. 
and six days for the eye. So technically speaking, the ear would start to have been healing a little bit by today. But okay, uh, listen, Doc, I'm really not prepared for this kind of shit. I don't know if I was in cryo too long or it's just really bad out there. But uh, listen, what we what can do for you, you is do? not a whole lot, but we can. Let me talk. Let me talk to the colonel. Um, because there's a there's a chance we might be able to do something for you. It just might take some time, not like days actually. Uh, just a matter um matter of your. Well, you're a marine. How are you with pain? I gesture vaguely with my head to everything and the stump of my. Oh left well, arm. then that sort of that sort of tells all, then, doesn't it? What are you What are you thinking there? Well. Well, Colonel Myers has, um, he has, uh, contacts, um, within certain organizations that might be able to help you replace those limbs relatively soon. Um, you know what? No, he's, he's seen enough shit with, with Sax. Can I make any sort of paranoid wits roll? I'm not sure how to phrase it. Paranoid wits roll. Like, th no, you know what? Never mind. Um, Tell me what you want to do. All right. Uh, you can do some science, but uh, I'm, I'm going to need a little bit of pain relievers for it. You got any? Uh, oh, we have plenty of that, sir. Plenty. You got any nap relief? This oh leg is... my goodness, do we have nap relief? All right. Um, I think I can. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Fantastic. Um, you'll have to give us till tonight. Um, from what That's I understand, fine. the colonel will be in um, a, a very sequestered area until then. But I should be able to get him on the calm. Uh, if he gives the okay, then it's very likely we should be able to get you into surgery tonight. And it is an outpatient procedure, of course. These kind of limbs are relatively, uh, as they are neural network based, they are relatively easy to uh, become accustomed to. Um, no longer do we have to uh, grow organs any longer. We can simply attach new ones um, and have science take care of the rest, as they say. Well, uh, I'd like to be useful in the field, so if you've got science that can help that, I, uh, I guess I'm willing to give it a try, Doc. I mean, I'll be perfectly honest, nothing is the same as your natural limbs. These will no longer, of course, be a flesh and bone. They will be of synthetic materials. Um, and, uh, these synthetic materials may there is a slight a very slight chance that they will not graft uh, to organic materials as easily as others depending on your blood type tissue type genetic makeup etc but there is a, a a very good likelihood that these synthetic limbs will well they'll just be just fine all right well uh I guess make with the drawing of the blood and finding out if I'm compatible. Oh, we I, already I have your blood works. on file. That's fair. Uh, sure. I've I've got some things to fill the time today. Excellent. We'll see you All tonight, right. probably. Um, if you wouldn't mind, just because the anesthetic does take quite a while to kick in, um, we would prefer that you do not eat or drink for approximately six hours before surgery. I innocently hold the bottle of whiskey further behind my back that I'm already playing <laughs> take down to the illegal concerts guy. Understood. Uh, yeah, I think I can do that. Great to hear. We'll see you uh, tonight then. Okay. It's a date. I'm gonna go. The doctor looks at you strangely <laughs> like, um, no, it's not. Well, um, I'm just gonna turn and walk out. <laughs> All right. If, um,. Uh, yeah, no, <clears> hasn't throat> been, throat> if someone someone hasn't been fixed up yet after Gale release, Summers like just swings into the door the doorway. I fell down the stairs. 
And that's uh, like just cut to black right there. <laughs> like you, you, you pull a full on Kramer. You just come straight in like, oh, yeah. and then the doctor's just like, I thought that we're just okay, shit. And uh, yeah, <laughs> fell down the stairs. <laughs> I fell down the stairs nine times. Um, okay. <laughs> the regulators. <laughs> um, from a sure, these missions. From a technical perspective, Summers, what is it that you're coming to the doctors uh, for? Um, basically just uh, getting my eye and busted kneecap uh, fixed. It takes 11 days for it to heal. Hmm. So, yeah. Okay. Um, the eye is... You, you do have a, a replacement. I They don't have any... Well, I guess they could have... Yeah, they, they could put you in surgery with Kalhavi. Yeah. Yeah, they'll give you an, an artificial knee joint. Yeah, I imagine that Kalevi and I also spend time in, like, physical therapy, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, now, note that this is not a, um... Uh, this, is, this being an elective procedure mm -hmm. um, would normally have cost you, as a Marine, probably a month's worth of pay. Um, there's no... There's no, uh... uh military insurance organization in the future. Basically, the UA is beholden to, you know, weigh you, and that's it. I mean, they are everything. They are, uh, by and large. Um, so, it's only through the luck of your commanding officer that both you, Kalhavi, and, and you, Summers, are getting these replacement limbs in so short a time. Um, anything you guys want to do bef between the morning and the and the evening? You once again, you have not yet jumped into FTL yet. Seems like I'm, you're running uh, sort of out doing my my stamina jogs around the hangar, and uh, might go do a little little work on LJ. All right, yeah, LJ's a fucking mess. I'm gonna be perfectly yeah. honest. LJ had a giant hole. Um, ripped, uh, like almost all of the mechanics, uh, internally are just, just toast. Um, all the electronics are, are just roasted. Um, and, and her front is just crumpled from the, from the hits that you guys took. And the hits that you guys did. Um, she's, yeah. a, she's a tough mother, don't get me wrong. I know she's probably not going out on this next mission, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to try and fix her up. No problem, yeah. Um, I think Isaac, you might have a sort of a keen interest in in LJ as well. Perhaps you'd probably go out into the oh, garage, no, yeah. uh, you know, seeing Masters. You know, she's on like a dolly, and you you know you hear Masters is basically yeah. She's like she's not much of a mechanic, but she's strong as shit. So she's like banging out dents with a hammer, trying to get things get get the ragged edges like sawed clean so they can be patched up on the on the gashes and the holes and what have you. I can definitely say the way you, yeah the way you can she's taking out uh, her aggressions productively on mm. LJ. All right, that now that right there was a fine piece of beauty right there. <laughs> yeah, she was, but uh, she was uh, seeing a little action as you can see. Oh no, 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 no doubt of that for sure. Hey, seems like you're trying to get her up and fix and all that. I was wondering if it's possible for me to give out some assistance to what I can provide, of course. Hey man, I'm kind of fucking useless with wiring, whatever you want to do. I'm just, uh, nah, nah, taking care nah. of an old friend here. I'm just as long as it makes things a little easier on you, of course. Just doing what I can. I mean, that's uh, just... All right. Let's see what we can do to get this fine beauty. Like, see how much we can get repaired, right? Yeah. And uh, do I need to make a certain roll or whatever? Yeah, I mean, for if you're going to try to repair uh, LJ a little bit more, I would say that the either one of you could make a heavy machinery roll. Um... Uh, at least for the outside, right? For the inside, it's going to be ComTech. For the outside, it's heavy machinery. I mean, she's just a mess. 
I mean, I'll do some heavy. I'll do a heavy machinery roll. Uh, is my stress back down now, or is it still up? Yeah, I mean, this is the next day, so you guys can drop your stress back down to 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 zero. Yeah. Okay. Wanted to know because I had a lot of stress so before yeah. I made this roll. Yeah, you guys are have been in a safe space for twenty four hours, so your stress is yeah, is zero. Now. I'm using my maintenance jack, so fantastic. I plus you one. Plus one. Yeah. One success. Superb. Uh, let's see what I can do with the com tech. I mean, I'm also fine with machinery, but yeah, you're better on the inside than the outside. <laughs> All right, so zero. Not bad, not bad. Hey. Yeah, Isaac, you, you see this sort of loose wiring, obviously, that's been shredded. Uh, mm. You replace uh, much of the of the chips, the keyboards, all of the, uh, you know, all of the internal motherboard material inside the, the ship that links uh, up to the, uh, the, the helmet cams so that Things can be monitored from the APC, and communications, uh, obviously inside and outside, can can be adjusted as, as such. And uh, and masters, you, you're able to get some of these dents out. I, it'll still take a couple days at least. Oh yeah. But yeah, it's 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 better than it was for certain. The last couple days. Getting uh, there slowly. Given them what what she's been through, what the hell? What, what kind of what kind of scenery has this? been through anyways, because I have to say, this kind of damage here, woo, seems like plenty of action. Yeah, well, uh, let's see, this dent here, uh, that was a UPP soldier, this dent here, I think that was also a UPP soldier, uh, these dents over here, that was, uh, actually not sure who those assholes were, but, uh, they were trying to kill my friends, so, uh, that's where they went, and, uh, now this big fucking hole was from an I don't even know what the hell it was, some kind of mechanized asshole. So I got another but one of my friends, so uh Definitely explains the explosion marks all over the interior here. Yeah. Yeah. Been through some damn. shit, man. This whole time, like Masters has just been watching this guy who's like so bright eyed and bushy tailed and eager. And just, she's just like, in the back of her mind, she's like, I wonder how fucking long until he cracks. Like, she's literally, she's like running a box pool in her own head <laughs> for how long until this guy loses his shit. The over-under on Isaac. What's the over-under on Isaac just going completely batshit on our first mission? All right. Like, um, she doesn't necessarily just, like, she kind of feels bad for him. Bit, like as much as she has time to, but considering that her empathy is only a two, yes. it's mostly just curiosity. Fair. Um, Isaac, what are your what are your thoughts about masters? I mean, well, seems like she's got like a lot in her mind. Um, definitely has seen plenty of action out there. What the fuck up? Anyways, um, might, might seem likely the leader for sure of this group, probably. Okay. Otherwise, good company. Cool. It's the first time anyone's ever said that about her. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that, that probably takes the rest of the afternoon, I would think, between the two of you guys working on LJ. And uh, then you retire uh, back to your quarters for a second day. Uh, that evening, however, Summers and Kulhavi, you report to the med bay. Boy. And, uh, yeah, the doctors are there. You know, gowns are up, gloves are on, masks are on. Um, and there are two operating tables, one right next to the other. And, Fancy uh, meeting you here. Yeah. Um, what, fall down the stairs too? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. I don't know what ran over me, but it felt like a shotgun. <laughs> yeah, those, uh, those, those staircases are packing real hard, huh? Um, it is at this time that, uh, the doctors, uh, sort of lay you into your, into your particular beds, or I should say onto your operating tables, and uh, 
they uh, say, uh, do we have the the uh, uh, the materials present? The doctor turns to the other doctor and says, yes, doctor, we do. Uh, for uh, for Colhavy, we uh, for uh, sorry, uh, I beg your pardon. Private, private Colhavy, is that correct? Uh, no, sir. Give me a second. Where Corporal? did I write this down? Thank you, Lance, Sergeant. Lance Corporal. Lance Corporal. Lance Corporal. Yes, Corporal Colhavy, um, you're going to feel very sort of drowsy, um, and it's perfectly normal. And uh, when you wake, you'll feel um, that pins and needles sensation. Um. It will, of course, subside within probably a matter of hours, uh, but when it does, then you'll have functioning limbs, um, and, uh, I mean, we, of course, can replace the eye as well. Left arm and right eye would be fantastic, yeah. The yes. leg should uh, heal on its own, I think you... Somebody was we can accelerate the healing, of course, with that, yes. Sure. I just want to be tip-top fight in shape again, if that's all right. We'll do the best we can. We have the best of all possible technologies to be used here. So like you're strapping a rocket launcher onto the new arm is what you're saying? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm afraid that will still have to be utilized by your uh, your uh, expertise and skills in uh, in warfare. All right, but uh, don't, don't throw out the eye patch. I like how it looks. Uh, okay. Fair. No problem. Um, and then, um, uh, Corporal Summers? Private Summers? I beg your pardon, I don't know. Private. Private Summers, Private yes. Summers. Uh, you as well will feel a, a very sort of drowsy feeling as soon as the, uh, um, uh, the material hits your, hits your bloodstream. And then you, once, of course, you wake, um, you'll be able to have 20-20 vision once again. And, uh, and your, your knee will be repaired, uh, shortly thereafter. Awesome. I can't wait to, uh, can't wait to run again. Certainly not. Um, we're going to be needing to call in our, our medical expert. So, um, please give us for one second. And the two doctors exit the, the med bay, leaving the two of you to talk. Hmm. What do you think of the new guy? I mean, I've I've already got a bet sitting with you, but uh, you know, I'll bet you fifty bucks he's gonna piss himself the first time the shit goes down. I was if gonna I make that bet with you, <laughs> damn. I can make oh, two wow. bets. I might have some money. <laughs> I listen. If I wasn't yeah. completely physically wrecked, I would have been more terrified. But uh, yeah, that was not pretty, and I I thought I I thought I knew what was going on. You guys were. You guys, was, you shouldn't have been that honest with me. I was, I was prepared for it, and I was not prepared for it. We're gonna have to protect this little lamb here. Make sure he makes his toys run smoothly, and we don't die. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, well. On the other hand, if he makes it through, whatever it is that's coming up, coming um, that we run into, he's gonna be solid. So, solid like I, you. Just gonna reach over and punch him in the. Stump? Shoulder? I don't know. Which I, side anywhere. anywhere. I hit you back on this side. <laughs> His arm falls oh, off again. Ow. Oh, no. <laughs> Not the knife attachment. I was finally going to be able to punch him in the knife. Critical knives. injury. Roll a d66. <laughs> I just strap a surgeon's jaw. Oh, look. You lost a toe. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I go to the emergency room more than my actual brother. Ruptured spot. <laughs> um... Hey, I wonder when those drugs will kick in. As you say, yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen. Yeah. Wonder where this Like, your voice gets, like, super deep, and then your eyes roll back in your head. Summers, you're already out. Yeah. Yeah. They they gave you an extra extra special dose, just because, you know, tall. Uh, and uh, before long, the two of you are in, in dreamy dreamland. I can't say for certain that... Your dreams are very pleasant, to be perfectly frank. Um, in fact, I would like both of you, within short order, to give us a very brief and very unpleasant dream of your own making. Kohavi, you will go first. Ooh. 
it's uh, okay. Kilhaby's dream is definitely a form of like a claustrophobia dream. Like everything is tight walls around him, suffocating spaces. He is just like armor barely hanging on, no weapons, empty, barehanded, bleeding from the leg that was injured. I think blood running down in front of his eye and is. I think every time he looks over his shoulder, what he sees changes. I think because Kohavi has seen now some mutated looking. Right? Wasn't the the faces of the bodies were pretty mutated. Oh yeah. For, for sure. And and then as as he's running, the 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 forms are still humanoid, but it starts to take on the black armor of the black ops troops. Mm-hmm. So it's it's that sort of darkened, burnished gun metal into like midnight colored black and then I think the the footsteps behind him get louder and as he's trying to run down these little narrow corridors the footsteps get heavier and the thing sorts of starts to elongate into the forms of the heavy guy because like just this this crew that looked like they had seen some stuff and survived got completely wrecked on his first mission back out of cryo. And he is not okay. Mm-hmm. Kilhavy is trying very hard to put on a brave face, but also is trying to process where where to have his wits about him. And I, I think there's just suffocation, panic attack sort of dream. Okay. And yeah. Summers. Oh. Summers. Um dreams and she pulls open a door and goes into this room that's uh it's kind of like um almost like an administrative room with like computers and stuff like that and finds a tablet and it's like something that she's looking for it's got all this stuff on it though and this information that she actually cannot read it's almost like the um the stuff from the notebooks that was mentioned by the android. I forgot his name. Maitland. Maitland. Um, and it's all like in these different notes and stuff like that. She just can't understand it. And then behind her, the door opens. And she hears the sounds of people getting um, shot and going down. And one of the black suits comes in as she turns around. Her weapons are empty. And as the black suit reaches out and just picks her up by the shoulder, the visor comes up and inside of the suit is not a person. It's the creature from Operation Deep Shaft and he begins to speak. Just give in. All the mysteries can be solved right here if you just give in. And then the mouth just opens wide and a second mouth comes out and just Oh shit, dude. Good god. Remind me never to play so with Jonathan's nightmares ever. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you, mm-hmm. question mark. Um <laughs> okay. Yeah, back we go. Uh yeah, awaken. Um the two of you probably awaken relatively the same time. It's very you very very groggy. Um it is at that time that you notice um that there is a um, a medic sort of walking around checking both of you checking your vitals making sure that you're um, that you're breathing okay seeing your, your station um, uh, checking sort of uh, palpating your your uh, your replacement limbs you do uh, sort of like look around your vision is just swimming as you sort of are able to open your eyes um, but those of you who who, who can see, and, and it is again the both of you, you see each other and you see the medic, um, and, 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 um, and, and Maeve, uh, tell us, tell us what we see when, when, when they look at, at this medic. Well, uh, she is a fairly average person in stature. Uh, she's wearing a lab coat at the moment. Uh, 
the most noticeable feature of her, actually, is she's wearing a hat, and her hair is fully white. Not sure if it's bleached or if it's just naturally that way, but... She seems... I mean, if you were a little bit more lucid, you'd probably notice that she is uh, enjoying herself watching over you guys. I think you guys probably come to consciousness uh, seeing that together. There's a there is a name tag on her uh, on her lab coat. Well, mm. did the surgery work? Is that you, God? It's me, Summers. <laughs> Summers. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, I'm not your god, but, uh, at least you're awake. Mm. Feeling all right? Does that mean we're not dead yet? Not if I can help it. Oh, thank god, someone trying to keep us alive. <laughs> Summers, <laughs> we might not die. Yeah. Yeah, not today, at least. Summers, you you sort of squint, and you make out a couple of letters on the on the name tag. It's sort of coming into focus a little bit. Uh, you squint, you see a W, an N, an R, an S. It's it's very hard to see because you know new eye and all sort of mm -hmm. vision. And Colhavy, this uh, this medic, she has her back to you, so you can't really see the name. Try and sit up there. Trying to, trying to figure this out. That's not wingdings, right? <laughs> wingdings. Oh, Just sort of rubbing my my like side of my head. Yeah, it's it's gonna take some time for you to be able to uh, focus. That's okay. The doctors uh, re-enter from wherever they were before. Um, coming in next to you, uh, to, to Maeve's character. And, uh, they say, so, um, how are we doing? Ah, uh, well, they are awake, and, uh, they're at least able to talk, which is a good sign. Haven't really run any proper tests in them awake, they just woke up. Okay. The doctor sort of looks over at Summers' chart, flips it over. Not bad, not bad. I think she'll make a full recovery within a... Probably overnight. We'll let her go in the morning. Yeah. Doctor sort of... Yeah, I concur. Yeah, I concur. And the uh, doctors look, look over at you, Colhavy. Oh, boy! Look at you, big boy. You had a... You had a, little, a lot of... Uh, a lot of stuff ripped out and torn out and put back. Impressive. I mean, I, I don't know who to thank for it, considering, but well, uh, you can I'm, thank the U.S. Colonial Marine Corps. I meant the ones who took it out. I appreciate you guys putting it back in. Oh, right. So, tell me, what what, what comes with the new car model? What can I do now? Well, everything you probably could do with the old uh, car. Yeah, but like you added extra features, right? Yeah, it's gonna look twice as cool. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna try. Can I try and lift my my new arm? Yeah, you can lift it, and the doctors so like one of them like walks over and says, "You're gonna have to hold up on that one, son. That one it might take a little bit of time to get used to." As you start to lift your arm, Colhavy, like just pins and needles, just like sh like an electric shock down your arm, and you're like, "Oh, that's painful. Oh God." But an arm is there. You do see it. it's wrapped in gauze and bandages, but you indeed now have an arm. And how how long is it taking the other eye to focus? Um, yeah, you sort of like take it's wrapped. It's still wrapped okay. in in bandages, so it's it's hard to sort of make it out, to be honest. Uh, but you're able to sort of see people around you with the one good eye. Well, uh, then I guess. 
Thanks. And then lay my head back down and close my eye. We'll see you in the morning, son. Have a, a restful, a restful sleep. Nah. And then uh, the doctor, like, looks over at, at Maeve's character and says, make sure that he's properly topped up. And, like, the doctor points at Colhavy's bag of nap relief, which is, like, halfway down. Which, he's like, I don't know how a man could take that much nap relief. Uh, normally they don't go through it like that, so just... Keep it at reserve levels, yes? Yeah, I'll make sure he's taken care of. Excellent. Thanks so much. And, um... The doctor sort of pats Maeve's character on the shoulder and says, I think you're going to do well here. Well, I think that's the uh, hope. Yeah. It's a little new, but... That's all right. No, no, you're... you're. I think uh, this, this, this could please quite a lot of people here, so... Thank you for, for your assistance. Oh, thank you for the chance. Absolutely. And the two doctors sort of like nod at each other and then walk out the room. Um, Colhavy and Summers, that night, the, the dreams are less intense um, and less stress-inducing. But Masters and, um, and Isaac, you are made aware that Colhavy and Summers have been in medbay all night and have received new uh, uh, synthetic implants or replacement limbs, in some cases, um, to enhance, not to enhance, but to replace what they had lost in the previous mission. Um, I'll probably take some time to pop in and say hey. Fair enough, absolutely. It could be maybe right after those two doctors leave that, that Masters pops in. Okay. Everybody's still alive in here? Uh, when you no. do so, Masters, you do see that there's a, 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 a medic attending to the two of them. And you can see it very well. Um, she has a, a name tag, and as you turn towards... Turn towards Masters, uh, Maeve's character's name is revealed. And it just says, Winters. That's kind of look at her, I'm like... Hey! And I look over at these two and I'm like, so, you assholes alive or what? Yep. Yep, Kalevi's arm got Bluetooth. Oh, that's a pleasant fucking change of pace now, ain't it? I hear it runs on regular and unleaded. I wouldn't go that far, but... Fair enough. Ah. Do I have to plug it in at night? No, but probably close in the dark, maybe. I don't really know. Well, that's absolutely useless for stealthing. Sorry, right, you weren't that sneaky to begin with. Thanks. All right, well, if nobody's dead... Gingerly dead, touched my... my red beard, which is completely <laughs> patchy from being set on fire and blown <laughs> to fucking shreds. I like, like, well, I like my face. Hey, at least you two assholes are alive. I'm, a. Uh... I'm gonna go run some laps. I'll uh, see you later. Race you in the 50 yard dash. Yeah, I think so. Alright. I look over at Winters. I'm like, try to keep these two alive. They're not really good at staying in one piece. That is my job, but I'll make sure he doesn't lose another limb at least. For, for now. Um, Isaac, you've been working in the garage the whole time, even after Masters was sort of like, you know stopped her yeah. stuff, and you continue to sort of walk on the electronics inside LJ. Um, as uh, this particular scene is going on, um, you do see that Colonel Myers actually sort of like peers into LJ and sees you, and he says, Ah, taking care of the uh, APC then, I see. What can I say? Gotta take care of... Gotta take care of all the... Machinery like it's your own, uh... Well... It's like taking care of a collectible, you Anyway, know? um, sure not that I really care about what you're saying, but let me just be very clear about something. Um, your new unit... is your new unit. You need to stay... in touch with them. And be part of them if you wish to be accepted by them. 
This happened with your previous unit. We need to make sure that doesn't happen again. Yes? Fine by me. I also wanted to let you know that we are having a... Uh, uh, we are having a, uh, a meeting tonight. Uh, approximately uh, 2200 hours. Um, all members are required for attendance, so clean this up and uh, meet me in the briefing room at oh, 2200. Sure. I'll be there shortly. Just... I expect you will. Thank you. Yeah, uh, right. That is all. And then he just walks away. Continue on doing a little bit more on the polishing side. Still got to make sure everything is calibrated correctly. Okay. That kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's it's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle that you have to put together that uh, is constantly confusing you. But you're going to figure out. But that's, the, that's the joy of it. Yes! It's the joy <laughs> of creation. Um, um, Perhaps maybe five to six minutes later, um, there is a whoosh as the door opens um, and they're standing uh, in Medbay's uh, archway is Colonel Myers um, Masters Winters Calhavy and Summers you see him standing there um, he says oh good I'm glad I got you guys before you uh, fell in for the night um, 2200 hours we're having an impromptu briefing I'd like you all to be in attendance please in fact, your attendance is mandatory. That is all. I... He just turns out the door. Okay. Well. I look at these, I'm like, he's less chatty than Simborski, and I'm not sure if I like it more or less. Yeah. That's, uh, that's not... I like it less. Eh, Is it weird to say Simborski was somehow nicer than this guy? Yeah, it is weird, because Simborski was a dick. I know. And he sometimes pretended to give a shit. I remember him being boring, not an asshole. Eh. But, well, I mean, Maybe hey, I just maybe don't like anybody. Could have just been losing the base changed him. Maybe. Or maybe he lost it because he's an asshole. Maybe. Well, either way, let's hope whatever fucked him over the last time doesn't catch us in its wake, eh? Eh. Okay. The evening proceeds as normal, I guess you would call it. And, um, you hear over the, uh, uh, over the intercom, all military personnel Please report to the briefing room. Your attendance is mandatory. This is Colonel Myers. All personnel to the briefing room. Your attendance is mandatory. I repeat, attendance is mandatory. That is all. I, uh, I'm going to say that I've been jogging, so I'm like, I'm, I'm in, you know, like a sports bra and a pair of sweatpants, and I'm all sweaty. And I look over at one of the mechanics. I'm like, I didn't hear him. Did, do you think this meeting is mandatory? Okay, mechanic sort of goes, hey, it's funny. You're funny. I like you. You're funny. Uh, uh, fucking I make my way off to the uh, briefing room. Make him away. Make him away. Um, all right. I'm very Brief sweaty. Just, just go. Yeah. Be my guest. If you can't remember where the briefing room is, it's where I'm pinging it on the map. Yep. Just... Masters takes up her usual position with her feet up on a seat in front of her. You know what? Just gotta take a seat over. Still in oh, her sweaty oh, workout clothes. Yeah, be there. Taking uh -huh. a seat, but I'm also like in the middle of like wiping off like some of the gre like some of the grease and stuff like off my head, and yeah. my hands as well. Myers is like he's looking at a at a data pad. He doesn't even 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 seem to acknowledge your presence as as you guys enter. And uh, he sort of like looks at the Marines in, in attendance, of which of course you four are as well. Uh, and he says, where's Winters? Oh. Fuck. 
you actually. And he pushes his like little uh, earcom piece, and the uh, intercom blazes out. <sighs> Winters, your attendance is requested in the briefing room. Please report to the briefing room. This is Colonel Myers. I repeat, Winters, please report to the briefing room on the double. That is all. And then he clicks his ear. Now, uh, Maeve, your, your, um, let me give you access to your, um, token. Your token, which is right. Yeah! There we go. So your token is right there. Awesome. So now you can move to where everybody else is situated. Sort of there around the corner and is up. She looks okay. Sorry. Sorry on that. Uh, Meyer says, good. I'm glad we're all finally here. Now, I'm going to make this very, very brief. Uh, we are going FTL in, and he checks his watch. He says, in approximately 38 minutes. I want you all to be in cryo at that time. Our destination is classified. You will be briefed on your next mission upon arrival. Um, do you have any questions at this time? Will there be snacks? Any other questions? Is it classified? Any other questions? Everything. What the hell happened on Pandora? Good. There are no other further questions. I will expect you all to be in cryo in 38 minutes. Repeat, sorry, 37 minutes. Uh, if that is all, thank you very much for your attendance. You are dismissed. And then he turns uh, away from you. Well, stand up and say, thank you for that most enlightening briefing. I feel briefed. And I'm just going to walk the fuck out. <laughs> Go take a shower. Okay. Uh, it could have been a <clears throat> radio call or something. That meeting could have been an email. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Oh my god, that was so good. Um, well, that was, I think uh, we determined that these are the showers. I don't know. Oh, these are the showers. There we go. I'm taking a yeah, shower. No, are, I don't know. These you know, are the lockers. I, I was actually waiting for one of you to say the iconic line. Yes, private. How do I get out of this chicken shit outfit? As uh, <laughs> as Ironhead four five four. Sure. So yes, so well, well said in chat. Thank you, Ironhead four five four. Yeah, those are lockers. I think maybe these are the showers. I can't fucking keep track of what we decided was what anymore. Because this Still is like this is like the mess hall area. Yeah. Showers were. Um... I think this is a shower that I'm standing in. If not, yeah. well, something just got wet. <laughs> Phrasing. No, guys, Gary Louise is off the ship. It's oh, fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, hey. Kilhavy's going to grab the RMC and the bottle of whiskey and try and spend the last half hour getting that traded for cash. Okay, yeah, there are a couple of Marines there who, who will be more than happy to do some uh, under the table deal. Uh, and Send him is it. Already in maintenance. Is it possible to buy two muzzle suppressors as well? <laughs> uh, no. Muzzle suppressors... I mean, you, can also, they... you can requisition that yeah, shit when you're You can requisition it from Mother if you need to on mission uh, assignment. If you need to. Great. Then I will I will save that for that then and uh, go back to the tubes. Yeah. All right. Go back. I do want to try and get a bottle of whiskey or a flask of whiskey at least. All right. And uh... I I imagine that somehow that bottle that um, Kalevi just used to pot off ends up partially in my possession. Uh, through a number of uh, sort of dealings between you and some of the other new uh, faces on the ship, I think that you're probably able to to get one if you need to. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. Uh, I've added that to my inventory. Awesome. All right. <clears throat> All right. 
Um, I would say that if you guys have nothing else needing to be done, uh, including the civilian um, who is put into cryo alongside the rest of you, um, you guys can go ahead and get into your cryo tubes. Actually. Yes. Hey, hey, masters. Yeah, what's what, up? What happened to Maitland? I don't fucking know. He's somewhere. Should we figure that out? <laughs> You guys I don't have know. Not, Let's find out. Was it, was you guys have not. Plan? You have not seen Maitland for the past two days. What's I don't know. I figure we can look him up after we find out what kind of crazy shit we're getting thrown into next. Well, if Captain Sunshine over there is actually on the side of Delia and the Black Ops, maybe not knowing where he is is not good for us, information-wise. I see your point. By the same token, I don't want to be in the. I don't want to be anywhere except my cryo tube when we hit FTL. I've done it before, and it ain't fun. That's fair. We'll find him when we wake up. All right. I'll add it to the checklist. Right, I'm pretty sure my tube is down here, so I'm gonna go hop in my tube. All right. All right. You guys all getting into your tubey tubes. We're gonna give you a little. Crowd tube sound here. It's a Yazi around. Yazi is not. None okay. of the other prior uh, 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 sections are are with you. Actually, was about to was about to tell him to stay the fuck away from my pod. <laughs> so do I just uh, pick one or? Uh, you push a button and the cryo tube just sort of like all of them open, and uh, one of the Marines says. Honey, you just lay down and let God do the rest. Oh, all right. Well, damn. Which one do I choose? Uh... Yeah, fuck it. All right. And uh, the cryo tubes slowly close, um, and the lights start to dim. And uh, you all drift into a soundless, dreamless sleep. We watch as the Tambatam hurtles through the vast void of space. And we watch as instead of the camera seeing the gun-like prow of this ship, it fades to the map of the galaxy. And we see a red line, Indiana Jones style, be drawn from the previous world of Pandora, which is here. Are my map? Oh, my map is flying everywhere for some reason. That was oh, I don't know. That's strange. That's bizarre. There we go. Where you were, to a planet here, in the midst of UPP space, similar in um, perhaps distance um, to your original planet of Fort Nebraska in the Kruger 60 system. This actually being relatively close by, I should say. Let me zoom in on it. In that you see a, a, a Chiron that says KOI 571 Uragon system. And then slowly, almost shark-like, coming out of FTL, the Tamba Tam reemerges. And it emerges over a, a planet that is almost sort of a... The, the outside view of this planet is sort of a... Um, the hue of it is very strange. It looks like it doesn't have a um, breathable atmosphere because the surface of the planet is sort of like a sickly yellow. But it's only sickly yellow in one half of the planet's exterior. Um, the lower half of the planet is sort of like a, sort of almost a, uh, a moss green, like a dark green.
green. And then, uh, the Tambatam comes back to our view as it begins to orbit this planet. The view then shifts back inside the interior of the Tambatam, and we see all of those wonderful cryotubes. And one by one, the cryotubes begin to come out of stasis. And we see the names of the five of you being displayed on this screen and your life signs below it. And your cryotube chambers open. Um, instead of, however, the normal scene that we would probably have been thought of when we, you know, are envisioning this, perhaps in the, in the style of Aliens, where all the lights are out, um, there is, however, um, a figure standing by the cryotubes as your tubes open, and it is, um, it is Colonel Myers, actually. And he's standing there, and he says, All right, Marines. We're here. Get up. Get dressed. Briefing in 20 minutes. Let's go. And he turns Good. and walks out the room. Good morning to you too, sir. Oh. Oh, that was a nice nap, I think. Ugh. The uh, thing about I... cryo sleep is I can never tell if I slept enough or not at all. Especially How does my arm feel after cryo? Feels like your arm. You stretch it out, you're like... We goddamned. Not bad. Now, what does his arm look like? Does it look like an arm? Is it metal? Like what It's not the, metal. It's not like... The, what are the visuals on this shit? Yeah, this is, a, this is a synthetic arm, so... Okay. Because they make synthetic people to look like people, I'm going to go with the assumption based on 23rd century uh, science that um, that an arm is an arm is an arm, unless it's based on an older uh, synthetic material. So not Winter Soldier, more Ash and Bishop. Yeah, exactly. I, I just uh, hold up my hand to Kalevi and just say, hey, you want to give it a try? Patty cake. Patty it's cake. like a second off. You're like patty cake. <laughs> Holding up to do a punch it. Hey, I can I try? We gotta look at each other's elbows. We gotta look at each other's elbows. Hey, I should I try to? Do I need to adjust that arm for you? It looks a little. Oh shit! You can do that. My God, you might actually be really, really okay on this team. I'm gonna stick out my arm. Let him. Let him take a quick look. Alright. And just maybe do I need to do like a Comtech or a heavy? Um you'd have to jack into the arm if you want to be able to <coughs> sort of mess with it, so to speak. Do you I like have... some fine tuning? Do you have any tools that you could use for this? One of us has a synthetic repair kit. I don't remember up oh, there you go, Colhavy has it. I took it. Because it was me and Ryder in the, the room with it. Yeah, I took oh, it. Got... Wait, no, we might have used it to fix Maitland. Actually, we used it to jack into Maitland, but I don't think they're one use. Yeah, they're like not one use. It's like a oh, diagnostic okay. kit. Great. Yeah. It's well, like a synthetic like... diagnostic kit, rather. I shouldn't have said repair kit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then, yeah, I'll probably borrow that then. Okay. Yeah, um, I'll go ahead and make a contact roll. Cool. Let's just see if we can do like a. Bro just needs an update. When... Your firmware is out of date. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you just hear the, the apple bong. <laughs> My arm is just constantly <laughs> pop-up ads all the time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so you never you never use a vast. This antivirus is shit. Uh, Maeve, you can do different tattoos on the arm every time. Oh, you cut every out. <laughs> you cut out I think Maeve just basically just said no. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I didn't hear what he said. That's okay. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Maeve said no. Uh, <laughs> I have a question though. Yes. Um, 
as a civilian, have I ever been in cryosleep? That's a great question. I'm going to say yes. To to get to the Tambatam, you would have definitely have had to go through cryosleep. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the results of that not going, uh, you know, halfway across the galaxy, you would have had neural uh, NDD, which I think is like neural dysthopia disorder or some shit. It makes you go crazy. So, yeah, you need... You need uh, you need to go to cryosleep if you're traveling long distances, and judging by well where you guys are going to be seeing where you are, you've been in cryosleep for a bit. I'm over. Uh, I'm at the mirror. I'm like I'm fixing my mohawk. It's gotten shaggy on the sides. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's usually my gauge of how long we've been in cryo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do see a couple of like people with like more than. I mean, your 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 internal body mechanics slow down to a crawl when you're in cryo. It's not like you wake up; it's like poof, you have a beard, yeah, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, and uh, but yeah, your hair does it need it needs some help. Mechanics oh, yeah. question. Yeah, how would that affect the healing for those of us who are injured? Um. Well, cryo sleep affects injury healing probably pretty well. I would assume, like it, it because your body slows down. Yeah, yeah, I can understand that. That would probably have a little bit of change to your. But to it your... also isn't spending all that energy on other functions. Yeah, exactly. So... Yeah, 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 yeah. I, then I, I guess it's like, a, it's like a back to tank. Yeah, I'll call it a back to tank. <laughs> I was trying not to call it a back to tank the whole time. <laughs> it's cool. That's fine. Um, so then, in that case, I think my eye might have been he yeah. cryo for a while. I'll, I'd say um, you guys are back to back to normal, both you and Summers. So to speak. I have fixed and spiked up my mohawk and then I uh I lean over to uh to Newt and I say, I'll pay you fifty bucks if you can program that remote up to control his arm. Okay, I guess that's enough. Yeah, I can think he's just like yeah, exactly. Uh, and then I walk off. Uh, he, yeah, says nothing. I don't trust you yet. I will say nothing. It's like those things in like in uh, RPGs where like you have like thirty seconds to say something before like you know it just moves on to the next NPC encounter. Yeah, yeah. It's just basically that. Just basically just what happened. Like <clears throat> thirty seconds. So that I'm gonna walk, expire. What a dick. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, he's less fun than I thought he'd be. Maybe. <laughs> And uh, yeah, then I, I go off and get dressed. Okay. Get something to eat. Yep. Some space mush, some cornbread. Absolutely. Yep. Um, you are notified, of course, as you were, that the briefing for this particular operation is requiring your attention. In the briefing room, in probably, probably about, I don't know, 10 minutes. So. And I take my breakfast with me. All right. Mm hmm. I'm gonna do a quick lap around the um, the dropships and and test everything out, stretch it for a second to fill the time before the briefing. Okay. Uh, let me just move you all back to the briefing room. Make it easier for you. Yep. Breakfast and burpees. Thanks. Breakfast yep. and burpees. God, I hate that. I've, One half of I've, that sounded really great, but the other I half finished. So I've, I I spent some time on my hair. It's a, it's a delicate operation. Fair enough. All right, I'm just gonna move the th the other three of you guys over to the briefing room. I, I, I thought you said you were, so I wasn't moving. No, it's cool. It's cool. I got you. I'm gonna sit right in front of Myers and eat my breakfast. Fuck him. Wait, are you gonna eat your breakfast? Are you gonna? Okay, never mind. Um... I'm gonna eat my breakfast. I <laughs> okay. don't like this guy. Okay. Um, when you guys enter the briefing room. You notice that there is, besides Myers, another person there. Um, this is a uh, a short, uh, sort of slim m uh, man, seemingly of uh, either Indian or Southeastern Asian descent. Um, he has a, a, a head of closely cropped black hair, um, and he's wearing a white button-down T-shirt. Definitely doesn't look sort of military by his dress. This is what he looks like. Played by Riz Ahmed. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. 
And, um... Meyer says, uh, very well, please be seated. I already was. Cool. Um, Meyer says, good morning. Uh, Marines, I, uh, I had you put on special assignment without, uh, prior notice, and for that I, uh, offer my sympathies and apologies, but it couldn't be helped. We had to get you behind enemy lines as quietly as possible. Uh, if you do not know already, we are in UPP territory right now. I received word that there is a UPP black site that these bastards set up just inside their borders. Uh... But it's one that's gone and fucked itself rather royally. Reports suggest that the Corinth colony on planet KOI 751.02 has become the victim of their own bioweapons experiment. Knew it. Mother. We haven't had any yet. Mm -hmm. That doesn't sound very pleasant. We aren't sure what the hell they were making, only that it went to hell in a handbasket. All we know is that Corinth is in a bad way, and whatever caused it was developed at the Norcom Uragon testing facility, about 100 clicks outside the colony proper. Intel says Uragon itself is dead. So, Marines, you get to go in with CBRM gear, scout the area, download their computer core, and collect samples of what they were working on before any UPP rescue efforts arrive. Now, you may have noticed that your CO is MIA, Lieutenant Casados, and the rest of the 33rd MAU's Bravo section are on a separate run. So, with no lieutenant, Mother is running the show on this run. She's been programmed by the best. So, do what she says. Oh, and the company sent us a... Uh, oh, the, and he sort of gestures over to the gentleman in white. A, uh, a biodefense virologist to accompany you. Dr. Nul Babak. And he sort of smiles and he says, Hello, everyone. And uh, Colonel Meyer says, Dr. Buck's a big deal smart guy. So do me a favor and uh, uh, from what I hear, you, tend in, you have a tendency to uh, lose important members of the company on your particular mission. So let's see if we can make an exception and bring him home in one piece. Only by their own incompetence, sir. That seems kind of harsh, but uh, I'll make sure it gets back in one piece. Dr. Nul Babak, this man who has been cited by uh, Colonel Myers, says, Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be making all of your acquaintances. So, uh, bioweapons, huh? What, uh, what sort of intel do we have on what they were working on down there, even... But that sounds particularly not good. Uh, Meyer says, We don't know very much about what it is that they were working on, only that it caused the destruction of Corinth Colony, so it can't have been... Uh, it can't have been very innocent in terms of whatever their and technologies were working on, shall we say. Do we need, like, sealed suits, or are we going That's in... correct. You will be entering the facility with CBRN gear, as oh, much, if not added. all, of the Corinth Colony and the surrounding areas have been uh, irradiated. And uh, what precisely is our objective on this mission? As stated, 
Your objective is to scout the area, download the enemy facility's computer core, and collect samples of what they were working on before any rescue efforts arrive. I shoot a look to Masters when we hear the samples. Mm-hmm. And, uh... What sort of containment devices are you are, are uh, you prepared to supply for these uh, aforementioned samples? You'll be provided with the appropriate material in order to contain whatever samples you find. How do you know that how to I send the it. right equipment if we don't know what the material is? We have Dr. Babak providing a variety of containers as well as... Uh, making sure that they are water and airtight, as well as resistant to radiation. So we're babysitting Doc's luggage? No, you are scouting the material facilities, downloading the core, for which I understand you now have a new person who will be able to appropriately handle said communications extraction, and he sort of motions over at Isaac. And potentially someone to help you to return to us in one piece. And he, he motions over at Winters. Uh, just to note there, uh, Colonel, I was referring more to uh, resistance against physical damage. Say something trying to break into or out of said containment. Would you please speak a little bit more... Straightforwardly. How fucking strong are these containment materials? Are we talking glass vials here? Are we talking something that I could throw out of the window of a moving APC and it wouldn't crack? They will be plastisteel. They should be enough to be retained in case of any kind of damage. Yeah, it's as good as I'm gonna get, ain't it? Alright, whatever. Fuck. Any other questions? Not if there's no more information. Can I get a pay raise? Uh, ooh, do we get raises in this? It's been forever. You will be yeah, provided with your uh, CBRN gear, standard hazmat suit, along with your choice of one of four items as provisioned by Mother. Either a CBRN kit, a M240 incinerator unit, four U4 firebombs, or the ID-23 incinerator unit attachment, which will replace your standard U1 unit on the M41A pulse rifle. Besides that, you have no uh, specific... Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of the word. You have no specific... Um, uh, items which are... Uh, quarantined or are out of the uh, out of uh, out of mission specs. So please utilize whatever you think is best as uh, defined by your mission parameters. Okay. Well, uh, delightful. I guess we should uh, probably figure out who's carrying what then. Fire bomb canisters. I was gonna say, me too. I think. What what's in the 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 kit? You said there was a kit. There's a CBRN kit. This is to determine the nature of any chemical, biological, radioactive, uh, or natural uh, hazards, uh, which can be detected. You know, like they have a Geiger counter, and then they have. A, I think it's actually in the uh, in the handouts, so you could take a look. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Now do we have to choose who gets what item, or...? Yeah, each one of you can choose one of those four items. Well, seeing as I don't have a, a pulse rifle, I think I'd like the kit. Okay. CBRN kit. So go ahead and add that to your inventory on your character sheet. Should we go with the others? Isaac, what are you choosing? I mean, I'm kind of loaded up as is. Uh, I'm trying to figure out 
Won't be necessary for me, honestly. Still thinking on it. Okay, I will go to somebody else. Masters? Uh, the four fire bombs. Four fire bombs, gotcha. Okay. And I already had two, so that puts me at six. Superb, excellent. Doesn't need to... That that will, of course, increase your encumbrance to some degree. Yep. But beyond that, good to <laughs> well, know. Well, I'm also dropping some things that I don't need. Yeah, thank you for that. Like I, I, I drop my buckshot canisters that I don't need. I'm dropping my baton rounds that I don't need. Fantastic. Whatever, whatever brings you to unencumbered, Mine says over encumbered, but that's because it doesn't include the two pounds that we get from the pack. Gotcha. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Um, how about I'm you? keeping I'm keeping track of that. I can hit twelve before I'm encumbered. Fantastic. Summers, how about yourself? I already have an incinerator. Okay. So, yeah. Um, also, same. Mm -hmm. I um, don't think I need anything through there. Well, in that case, um, is it possible to attach? Because I, if I've got the scope rifle and the RMC now. I'm going to be pushing encumbrance and mm -hmm. not able to carry a pulse rifle as well. How heavy is the flamer? The M240 incinerator? Is that what yeah. you're referring to? Yeah, it's in the... Yes. Uh, if you go into the weapons, you'll see the M240 incinerator unit flamer. It has a weight of one. Okay. Um, two... Has anyone else decided whilst Colhavi is making his decision? So we got the incinerator, the, the oh, attachment to the boss rifle. Uh, you want me to do that one more time? Those four? Sure, yeah. Sure, okay. So yeah, it's um, the incinerator unit, the CBRN kit, the firebombs, and then the uh, incinerator unit attachment, which is the attachment that replaces the uh, grenade launcher on the pulse rifle. Yeah, so I'm using the the firebomb rounds use the grenade launcher mm -hmm. attachment on my rifle. Okay. Which will be compatible with my UPP grenade launcher attachment, yeah. It's just a fucking grenade. Okay. Does a kit have a weight? Uh, the CBRN kit? Yeah. I believe it does. I believe it is one. a one weight. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you. Appreciate it. How how heavy is the 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 new the armor that the uh, protective suits that we're wearing? Where I'm uh, so on. yeah, your um, I don't. Let's see. So your armor, your hazmat suits. If you go under suits and armor, you will see uh, that the. Suit suit that you're going to be using, the hazmat suit, I think it's at the bottom. Yeah, ha military-grade hazmat suit has an uh, armor rating of one. Yeah, so we have shit for armor on this fucking rifle. And air supply of right. two. Yeah. Okay. So... I'm sorry, I beg I your can... pardon. The military hazmat suit has an arm... Yeah, armor rating one, so air supply two. Yep. Try, yeah, trying to look up suits and armor, but for some reason it's not really loading up properly. Alright, I'll let you know that it, it's, it's just... Oh yeah, yeah, mine's also loading blank, that's weird. Try again. Yeah, mine's mine's loading blank too. Weird. Thought it was Refresh if you if you want to, but yeah, I'll I'll let you know that that's. It that's loads the under case. uniforms and other equipment. And you that, said armor's still. dropping down to one. That's correct. Armor one. Okay. Are we allowed to requisition things for this? Uh, yes, absolutely. As long as Mother deems it necessary for your. Okay, mission. then I would. Uh, where did it go? I figure out what page I was on when I had it. I All right, so if, if I drop the, the good grip auto rifle and leave that in the locker, I can carry You know, I'm going to go ahead and say this. I'm going to go ahead and say this. Now that I see what, what it is that you guys are wearing, you're wearing a hazmat suit, I would think that the hazmat suit actually fits over your M3 personnel armor. So we get to keep our armor So you would be able to keep your armor rating yeah. and then add, add, one. add one to it. So it becomes seven. Yes. So seven. Go. Yeah, you would get seven. Hi, huh? kitty. How are you? Yeah. What are you doing? You it seems a little thing. odd that you would just sort of like, hey. Be like, no more armor. Yeah, I'm a Marine with I no need... armor. Right? Yeah, exactly. I'll take it. I need armor. Yeah. yeah. We all do. Uh, well, where... you don't, Winters, you being, not being a Marine, you would not have armor. You would just I... get the armor from the. I do actually have armor. Oh, that's right. The Kevlar vest that you have. I beg yes. your pardon. That's correct. Uh, so it would go on top of your Kevlar vest. About that. Yeah, I would like to uh, requisition a UDEP ultra diffusive environmental poncho. Okay. Let me take it a look. It gives you at a that. plus it gives you a plus two to stamina rolls against chemical and biological contaminants. Mm. 
And a stealth of plus two in wet environments. That poncho would be useless over the the, uh, the bulky suit. suit, unfortunately. Because really? the poncho, the- yeah, because the poncho is like a big, like like a fluffy thing. But the That's, hazmat suit doesn't give you a plus two to any of your rolls, or is it, does it automatically just protect you? You just can't. It just hit. protects you. Yeah, it just protects okay. you from the. Can our hazmat suits get damaged? Of though? course they can. Well, then I would like to take the poncho with me in case my hazmat suit gets. You fucked. can take the poncho with you, absolutely. Yes. But you can't <laughs> okay. wear it over the suit. Is what I'm saying. So if my suit, but if my suit gets fucked, I have backup. That's yeah, absolutely. What I'm looking for here. Fantastic. Okay. I love it. All right. Not being a marine, can I requisition things? No. Unfortunately, okay. because you are simply okay. a civilian. Unfortunately. That's fine. I think I'm good as is. Yeah, the only thing I'm just taking is the hazmat suit. All right, fair enough. I am going to leave behind the suppressed pup. Okay. But I'm going to request a muzzle suppressor for the sniper, the scout rifle. All right, mother mother thinks that's perfectly fine, considering the, the mission that you're on, being uh, as sneaky as you can be. Yep. And then, yeah, if I leave the pup behind, that keeps me from being over-encumbered. Love it. All right. Make sure that you're... Oh, I had Grusa's motion tracker. Does anyone want to take that? Motion tracker. I can only take another 0.25. What does a motion tracker weigh, Matt? I think it weighs one. Let me go to uh, tables and rules. I believe it's under uh, tools and diagnostics. Yes, this is a M314 motion tracker. Is that correct? Or a 316? Uh, it is... Makes a uh, difference. Crap, I'm in the wrong window. It is a 316. 316 actually is the smaller, less effective unit. The it medium only, range. It does the yeah. medium range. It actually weighs nothing because it's built in. Awesome. So then I'm just going to keep it. Fantastic. Right. I have it. If it doesn't weigh anything, it's staying in my inventory. All right. And the medium range rifle indoors. I left behind. All right. Um, so I'm going to assume that, like, all this stuff takes place, like, during the interim time while you guys are sort yeah. of checking out your armor, checking out your stuff. Um, Summers, I think I heard something from you real quick. Yeah, just, I was about to ask Winters if, um, hey, you can you protect yourself at all? Ow. You mean, like, I a mean, gun? Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't have a gun. You want I, a gun? Uh... Depends on what it's for, I guess. It's for shooting things that aren't us. Well, yes, but does that mean people or does that mean creatures? I mean, honestly, whatever is on the table that's trying to eat us. Well, um, I kind of have a thing. I, I don't really shoot at people. I mean, if you want to shoot at people, I'm not going to stop you, but, uh, yeah, I don't really. I'm a doctor. I, I, I'm here to, to heal, not harm. So. But to answer your previous question, I don't have a gun. Yeah. I have the stick, though. She just takes out a the stun baton. That, by the way, right. is Doctor Babak. I didn't give it. Thank anything. you. Uh, you know what? Um, I'm. Thomas just takes the uh, pistol that she had. She's had. <laughs> That um, I think Ryder might have previously had at some point that was loaned to him. It just puts it on like the benches and just goes like, in case you change your mind. What kind of? It's a. I remember it's the other pistol. Um, it's the M4A3 service pistol. Oh, it's just a service pistol. Yeah, just a little pop-up gun. Mm-hmm. I mean, she would take it. Everyone else seems to be pretty heavily armed. All right. Um, if everyone is outfitted, then we'll move on. Yes? Yeah. Yep. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. So the Tambatam comes out um, of FTL. You guys get briefed. It enters orbit um, of... Uh, of this of this system, KOI 751.02. And um, you see exactly what Major Myers, or sorry, uh, Colonel Myers was talking about. That Corinth Colony, this sort of sprawling city, um, is gone. 
in, in its place, you see a giant raider with blast wave marks all like just rib ribboning out, not ribboning out. Um, uh, what's, the, what's the word that I'm trying to fucking say? Oh my God, I'm, I'm so bad tonight with words. Um, uh, rippling out, Jesus, hey. ribboning out, what the fuck? Um, it, rippling out from the actual uh, city itself. Um, clearly, the blast was centered on the colony itself. Um, and it vaporized the entire colony um, and all but destroyed the atmospheric processor, which you guys know is required for terraforming planets that don't have an atmosphere. Um, the Oregon testing facility where you guys are headed is actually uh, 100 kilometers from the center of Corinth Colony. And while it is, and you can guys can see this on the sort of display map, um, it's within probably five kilometers of the radiation zone. Um, the testing facility itself was not destroyed. You see that there are um, uh, displays of the testing facility. Um, and um, Colonel... Colonel Meyer sort of looks at it and he says, what the hell are those? And he's pointing to like these little sort of dots about a kilometer or so in a circle around the facility. He's like, enhance. And like the camera uh, from satellite orbit sort of zooms in. He's like, enhance. And it enhances it even more. And you see, like, what looks like just like a, a metal rod. And then there's like a flash of light. And he's like, shit. And immediately there is an explosion on board the ship. Ba boom. Um, and um, he says, we are under attack. Sound the alarm. And uh, yeah, let me just bring on some. Uh, explosion -y sounds, kaboom! There we go. And... Um, yeah, the alarm just starts going uh, nuts. And he says, Oh, shit. Uh, fuck, uh... We're gonna have to drop you into orbit. Uh, God damn it. And then he points to the five of you, and he says, Get to the drop pods. We'll bring you in on the power foils. Go! And that's where we're going to take our break. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh boy. Crazy. Okay. And we are going to take our break now. We'll be back in about I don't know, seven minutes. Is that good for you guys? Sure. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll be back in seven minutes, folks. Don't go anywhere. Part two of this operation, which is uh, don uh, donated... I can't say words tonight. Denotated name. Gotta ask. Yeah. Uh, the operation is called Quiet Catch. Oh, there we go. I was waiting to put it in my notes. There you go. Operation you. Quiet right. Catch. Uh, when we get back from break, we'll see you guys in about seven. Okay, we're back. All right. So, with that said, <laughs> uh Colonel Myers, you know, points to the five of you and says, "Get your asses to the drop pod. You're going to have to fly into the uh fly onto the surface." Um but you know what? I, I can't do this without music. I must have uh yes, you know, we, let's let's just do this. Let's do this music here. Let's go. Um um do you guys have I'm going to give you 30 seconds to tell me what it is that you want to do before you uh, run over to the drop pod. Go ahead, tell me. Master just goes, fuck, here we go again. Come on, Doc, move your ass. And grab, like, like just drops her breakfast on the ground and grabs the Doc by the arm and starts hauling him out. Okay, yeah, but Box like, oh my God, oh my God, what's, what's happening? And of course the sirens start going off. Mm -hmm. Master's like, no time for questions. She's literally yeah. just dragging his ass. <laughs> I hope you get your shit together, because we're going now. Let's move. Okay, yeah, he sort of, like, jogs behind you. Mm -hmm. Just going to, make uh, sure her, yeah. 
gonna tap tap a fist onto uh, Max and Groose's lockers and riders before we leave, before we head out. Okay. Yeah. Um, you do see that like um, alarm bells are, or I should say, sirens are going off. Like the yellow um, uh, alert. Uh, uh, klaxons and, and and sirens are just like uh, completely uh, making the interior of the uh, of the Tamba Tam just like a big yellow sort of uh, uh, like mess for your eyes. I guess I guess you could say. Um, and then you hear um, like over the calm the voice of mother that says Tamba Tam has taken minor component damage. Tamba Tam has been hit. Tamba Tam has taken minor component damage. Please exit orbit. Yeah, that's about right. Obviously, on the way past the lockers, like I grab, we all grab our loadouts. I'm assuming, yeah, like yep. all of our shit that we usually have, or that okay. is in our inventory. <laughs> okay. Um, and then uh, as you guys are running to the drop pods, um, you hear um another explosion, like very, very close uh to your to your location, like maybe. I don't know, like 50 feet away, and it's enormously loud. It's just like, boom, and it rocks the whole ship, and the um, the doorway that you guys were all running past um, starts to seal because you feel like this enormous tug of, um, uh, of, uh, of vacuum, like sucking you out the door. Um, and the door immediately starts to sort of and it, it does seal entirely. And there's like all this vacuum and like people are, are like being pulled towards uh, the uh, towards the actual hatch. And you hear uh, uh, mother say, um, yeah, o over, the, over the intercom, um, compartmental decompression in section A5. Compartmental decompression in section A5. What do you guys Fuck wanna do? me, can't we ever do anything the easy way? Is there any way to pull that fucking door shut? You can make yeah. a heavy machinery roll. Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna do that with my jack. Any way I can help with that too? Uh, well, the jack does sort of give okay. her a, a plus one on it. I mean, you can't really sort of like pull it down together, so yeah. But, yeah I think I could probably help mess with that thing as well. Uh, one success. It, one success is enough. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, you didn't even need to really need it. You, you just like pull it down, well, bam, and um, uh, and the door sh shut. Uh, compartmental decompression in section A5 has been halted. You're welcome! Come on, guys, move your asses, let's go! Okay, Tambatam exiting, exiting geosynchronous orbit in 35 seconds. Oh, fuck my life, And Come you on. hear just more explosions, boom, boom, boom. Uh, clearly, the Tambatam is being shot at from the surface of this planet. Get into the fucking pods. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna shut the dog into his pod first, make sure that it's actually sealed properly. I'm say, I hope you don't get car sick. Okay. As Slam you door. run to the pods, you hear a voice calling from behind you. And it's uh it's Colonel Myers. He says, Ah fuck. Take these! And he throws a bag in your direction. I will grab it. Uh you're in the front. I'd oh, say okay. the person who has been behind was probably Colhavy. I'll grab it. Okay, you grab it. It's 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 heavy. It's full of something. You're not quite sure, uh, but it's got like objects inside. Uh, <clears throat> best as I can, try and grab it with new arms, sling it over my shoulder, and start catching up with the rest of the group. Okay. Um, you approach the drop dead. Sorry, not drop dead. Dead drop. <laughs> uh, re-entry insertion vehicles. Um. They are just known as DDR-3s. They are equipped with uh, M73 PX parafoils. So, once you strap on your folded parafoil and buckle in, the drop pods will be fired at the planet's surface. Anything you guys want to say before you head on out? Fucking parachutes! <laughs> Said it before, I'll say it again. Nobody fucking die, all right? All right, we're going to do it. Uh, drop pods can take two at a time if you want to. Except here, I think you are muted because I saw your mouth moving, but I didn't hear you. I'm still around. Oh, there you go. It looked like you were talking and I couldn't yeah. hear you, so I was making sure. So, uh, again, I say you can take up to two at a time. 
Uh, there are six of you, including Dr. Babak, so... Then I'll, I'll hop in with the doc, since he doesn't know okay. what the fuck is going on. Fair. Okay. I look and as, at... I, as I seal the hatch, I'm going to be like, if you puke on me, I will fucking kill you. He says, I would never do that. I'm perfectly fine in these kind of situations. I look at Summers and go, start our bodyguarding now. Yep. <laughs> and then jump into the tube with whoever's club. Okay. Uh, Isaac or Winters. Sure. Go for it. <laughs> Great. I'll, I'll jump in and be like, hey, Doc, and then slam the button into the truck. All right, All that right. just leaves Isaac and uh, Isaac and Summers, I guess, right? Yep. Just shove, shove uh, Isaac in. He's like, God. All right, get in, little guy. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Love this. All right, fantastic. And uh, oh, yeah, man. your your drop pod, your drop pods, I should say. Um, as we watch, just like uh, three drop pods, just out from um, and they sort of like expel themselves from the uh the tambatam and we no longer hear the interior of the tambatam um however you guys are just sort of like hurtling towards the planet's surface um let me move you away from the tambatam now um towards well this poor ship yes i know it takes a beating uh but it keeps on um chicken <laughs> <laughs> yes, that. Uh, sure. It takes a beating, but keeps takes on. Takes a beating, keeps on fleeting. Sure, Sarah. Right. <laughs> it was the first it was a, no, it was moderately a good try. military it was, rhyme I could it, come it up with. It was good. I liked it. All right. Um, I would like, first of all, you all to gain a stress level. Because if you don't think that's stressful, mm -hmm. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. <laughs> I, winters is not used to this. So no. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> definitely take a stress, Winters. All right. Uh, with that, um, I would also like um, you all to roll a piloting roll to land your parafoils safely. Ray. Oh, boy. It's definitely me and not the duck, so... <laughs> <laughs> Great start. Right, I'm going to make sure. Do I have any plus ones hanging out? What, is, what do you stunts? have? I do not know. How we I have a zero. Oh, I everything. made it. All right. All right. So we have one success from from Masters, no success from Colhavy, and no success from Summers. Oh, yay. Yeah, this Jesus is so fun. Christ. All right. What so, did I say about not dying? Yes, I know. Nobody listens. There's only one person. Oh. Hey. All right. Isaac's got Summers pod. You want to take a crack at oh. it, Winters? Hey. Yay. All right. All right. So you're like, fucking shove <laughs> over. Um, Ooh, it works for me. Stunts yeah. for Isaac and Winters. Uh huh. Okay, so it's as as yeah. you um, as you strap on your your folded parafoil and sort of uh, begin to tumble in towards the atmosphere of the planet, um, the the guns let's call them what they are these these enormous guns on the surface of the planet readjust. Um, oh shit, we got a hype train. Who knew? Fuck yeah, and. Oh, a, there's a whole bunch of fucking people here. There's a there's a Mates of Holy Fate raid. Yeah, hey, Mates of Fate. Hey. What's happening, everybody? And thank you for the hype train. Um, I just I didn't check chat. I was so invested in the game. Who knew? Um, and Get to the chatter. Get to the chatters. <laughs> Coming in like a drop pod. Coming in like he came on like a drop pod. All right. Um, God. yeah, that's me. That's me, folks. You don't like it? I would now there's like the door. No, the, the door's not there. You can never Bruce leave. The door's over there. Sunglasses, riding a drop pod. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> oh my god. It's that kind of game, folks. Um, I've okay. been avoiding the cowboy hat, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, okay. Uh, those there are three drop pods, and I'm going to roll a D3. To see where these guns holy shit thank you for the bits yo that's amazing you guys are fucking amazing thank you thank you thank you hype hype hey. hype yeah. um i can't concentrate I, can, I must i must gm this game but i cannot do it um can't do it captain i can't do it captain I'm giving her all she's got all right serious serious face now serious face all right um um i'm gonna roll a d3 uh oh, d the first one is masters's pod with Dr. Babak. Uh, the second 
is uh, Colhavy and Winters. Mm -hmm. And the third pod is Summers and Isaac. Cool? Here we go. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Let's see who the guns fire on. Oh, dear. One, That's a two. Yeah. So that is. Here we go again. Yep. That's 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 uh, Colhavy and 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 Winters. Don't blow oh. my doctor at the very on our first God, day out. No. She just started, folks. She just started. I'm just gonna start drawing a magnet on my. Oh God. Oh, okay. Um. Please make a. Stamina roll, one of the two of you. I would like to make that stamina please, roll because because what happens is let me, let, before you make the stamina roll, let me explain to you what happens. Um, so you hear boom as um one of these uh, cannons essentially hits your descending drop pod, um, and it's a it, it's it's a glancing blow, right? A large section of the pod is just shredded, and there's just like air. But luckily, you're still in your, um, uh, like, like you're in your suits uh, because you knew that this was going to happen and you were going to end up on the planet's surface anyway. So you had to be in your in your hazmat suits. So you're not like breathing in a radiated atmosphere. Um, but the pod is wrecked um, and it's just somersaulting end over and G forces are just like, like your faces are, are are full on doing that thing that you see in in old World War II and 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 such uh, training videos. So um, I would like you all to uh, in in drop pod number two make a stamina roll, please. No bonuses, no modifiers, no mods. Just do your thing and let's see what happens. Oh, wow. uh, I would like to use past the limit, which is a singular reroll of a failed stamina. Hell yes, good job. Nice. Try and brace the thing so that we're not just bouncing around the pod. KK. Hey. Success. All right, that's one success. All right, and oh, okay, one success, but Oof. a panic. Uh, Winters, uh, it. I doubt you're going to do very, very uh, much here, but go ahead and roll your panic roll, please. Just hit that button at the top of your character. Says ah. Panic. There Seven. Okay, you do get a nervous twitch out of it. Um, so, like, yeah, you boom. You're like, ah, yeah. Do you note that Winters gets a stunt from that, and Winters and Newt both got stunts from their piloting. So That's make true. sure you yeah. mark those down, guys. Indeed, indeed. Stunts are extremely important. If you don't remember them, then you don't use them, and if you don't use them, I, you lose them. I so, don't know what that is. A stunt. So okay. Ah, this is this a new player to Alien remember, RPG. This is my first game. When you have more than one success. In any uh, skill or, uh, or or anything actually within the game, um, as long as it is not negated by a panic roll, you can take those additional successes and use them for what are called stunts, which are cool things that you can do either on your turn or after as well. It depends on the skill that you're using. For example, Winters, you used stamina. And for you, I'm going to just go ahead and say, okay, stamina is easy. I'm just going to click on the stamina. And right there in the chat, you'll see these are the potential stunts that you could use for stamina. You can give a success to another PC in the same situation as you, which would be useful. Uh, gain a plus one mod to a later skill role relating to this one. It's like, I'm, I'm, hadn't, I'm putting that plus one away for later. Um, you're hardened by the experience and don't need to roll to overcome the exact same challenge in the future. Surprisingly, this has actually worked out very well. Or you impress someone. For buddies, this couldn't be better. Okay. So your Good choice to, to use that for, for that stunt. I think I'm gonna show off. Is this just something I need to would. remember or is this something that I can <laughs> put on my sheet? You can you can just sort of mark it down like uh like stunt. I just I keep mine in my notes. There you go. Mm -hmm. okay. Like I've got a bunch of bank rolls. Stamina stunt that I haven't used yet. Ranged uh ranged attack stunt, whatever it is. <laughs> they not go away? They do not go away. No. Until oh, awesome. you use them. Correct. Yes. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Fantastic. So then, but you do get up, you do get, unfortunately get an effect of this panic, which is you get a nervous twitch. So your stress level and the stress level of all friendly PCs in short range of you, which is just you and Colhavy, go up by one. So now you're at two stress. It has been put in. It. Okay. So here's the good news um, beyond that. Um, Colhavy, uh, you're able to get out of your seat and parafoil away. You have a parafoil strapped on and before your wrecked pod smashes into the ground. However, for you winters, you're trapped in the pod 
and it falls apart. <laughs> That's probably why you're freaking out. You're like, ah! You get another stress level. Well, dang. <laughs> and uh, uh, Kohavi, as you watch, Winters just plummets through the atmosphere. You're like, oh my god, no! I just met this chick, and oh shit! And she fixed my arm, and ah! Oh. And you just watch her, just like, just dropping. She's dropping, she's dropping, she's dropping. And just when you think that she's had it, her seat just <clears throat> crumbles, disintegrates, and um, uh, you see just like a big <clears throat> of, uh, of dust. Um, and right above it, the seat hits the ground, and like 30 feet up in the air is Winters parafoiling in to the ground. And you just tumble and 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 fall prone. <laughs> awesome. Uh, the rest of you, however, do not get shot out of the sky, <clears throat> and instead pilot your drop pods to the surface of this planet. Um, and you all do so safely. You all land relatively close to each other, probably less than half a kilometer outside of the Uragan facility, judging by uh, your trajectories, I should say. But you do notice that you are in sort of this uh, this wasteland. Um, I don't have a, a, a real sort of good picture of, of this particular planet, um, but you know it's it, you, you notice that there's like a heavy wind. And this just sort of overall strange orangey yellow dust everywhere. Dr. Babak, who's in his, um, he's in his, uh, hazmat suit. Hazmat suit, thank you. He's just like, I think we're going to have to make it on foot to the facility from here. Yeah, we know. Is everyone all right? I mean, I keep getting shot at my emplacements. I'm not a fan. Isn't yeah, that what, what you Marines are supposed to be doing? I don't know why this is turning into Bane. Sorry, I apologize. Um, Everybody I intact find over the there. Oh my god. <laughs> You said Everybody I was wondering which would break Clavey. first, the pod or your parafoil. Oh my god, I'm 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 <laughs> like, goodbye. Uh, we're gonna no. See, look what you you drove Sarah away. Look at that. You god, broke me. You, yeah. God damn. It. All right. You said everybody, I was... everybody in one piece. Best as we Fuck. can be. Yep. <laughs> Where down as can be. Well, that's delightful. All right, grab your shit and let's get this over with, eh? Matt, you said I was prone? I'm, I'm not injured, right? No, you're not injured, surprisingly. <laughs> like, you're shaken up. And you've got all this orange dust all over you. Uh, orangey sort of yellow dust. Um, but you are... Uh, you know, it hurts. You, you took, like, a fall from 30 feet and landed hard on the ground. But it's better than being dead. That's true. I'm gonna try and reach into that bag of stuff that was handed to us mm -hmm. and see what was in there now that I have mm -hmm. now the ability to not just clutch it. Absolutely. Yeah, you see that there are two Armat 4 breaching charges. My favorite. Um, at the very end of your running away, Colonel Myers yelled something about cannons. So you assume maybe if you're able to that these are for them. Well, All right, I'm, so... I, well, that's the first part of this mission that sounds like fun. Yeah. How much for stealth? I mean, they know we're here now. Yeah, but they might also think we got blown up. That was a lot of fucking artillery. Mm. And I'm sure the Tambies hightailed their way out of here by now, so... We're gonna have to get rid of them if we want them to pick us back up. I know yep. We 
would be possible for me to know what kind of cannons those were? Um, you can make a wits roll. Like just uh, straight wits. Yeah, just hit the wits button. Let's see what let's see what comes up. One success. Okay. Um, you know, obviously UPP make very big orbital, probably rail guns. Hmm. I shouldn't say orbital. I should say anti-orbital. Anti-orbital. Right. No. Yep. Anti. Yeah. Surface to air. So. Mm hmm. Rail. Rail guns, of course. Surprised we weren't able to pick. Hmm? Right, go ahead, finish. I'm about to say. I'm surprised uh, the Tam and Tam weren't able to pick up on that kind of detail. Oh, I'm sure they knew they were there. They just didn't give a shit. It's not the first time we've been shot by shit like that, is it? Yeah, just like the first time. Yeah, it's not the first time. <laughs> ah. Oh no, we we get shot at a lot. Welcome to the regulators. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have to train a sign at some point to say, uh, "Don't shoot us, assholes!" Right? This shit oh. is coming. I'm locked and loaded as always, and I pop out my little can of spray paint and shake it, <laughs> then stick it back in my whatever pocket it lives in. Hey, masters, can you uh, can you just draw a magnet on my back? Apparently, I'm a friggin' bullet sponge. You are. What the fuck, man? Hey, at least you got all your limbs this time. Uh, thanks, I can get for that. All um, right. I'm gonna adjust the eye patch back off and just be like, all right. So let's 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 make this happen. Um, you can't really get to your face a little bit. Oh right, yeah. Right. <laughs> this whole thing. Um, that's right. Well, what a beautiful and... planet we've chosen to vacation on. <laughs> you look well, around can... actually when you say that. And you look at like the whole planet, just like, or at least your your area of it. Landing uh, clearly irradiated, uh, you know. If you want to use the CPRN kit, you just see the Geiger just going. Tick, 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 tick. Um, hot, dusty. Whatever plant life is here is dead. And Dak, this place always looked like this, or is this uh, a recent redecoration? I'll be honest, I don't really know very much. But I understand that there was some kind of uh, nuclear attack here in Corinth. And that's the likely cause of all this. The UPP attacked themselves? They tried to blow their own station? I, I honestly, I don't see that being out of the question. Oh, well, that's just fucking delightful, because if they chose to blow their own shit up, whatever we just landed in is nasty shit. Nasty, nasty shit. Oh, I'll uh, assume. But you could say that again. I didn't really enjoy that landing all that much, but it's... Are you alright? Uh, sorry, what was your name again? Winters. Winters. My name is Winters. Uh, I don't really fall from space very often, but... Uh, you just join up? Kind of. I'm not a marine. Another fucking Civ? Jesus Christ. I'm gonna take the spotter scope off of my, my rifle and just sort of do the shoulders and the knighting of the cross and just be like... Well, you're a regulator and technically a marine now. <laughs> Strap it back on. Okay. Uh, Winters, well, Winters, make an observation roll, please, for me. I can do that. There it is. Got to click on it. With, yes, also, with the, the input oh. value. I put in my... No, you just say fire. observation. Just click no on mods. observation, no mods. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Two successes. Redemption. Very nice. nice. So, like, there's an example of a stunt that you could use for later for observation. But the success is that you do find, as donated by chat, a random piece of gear. Do -do 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 -do. Thank you very Thank much, you. Joel. Ooh, she can use the stunt. Are there more of them nearby? <laughs> ah, maybe. Um, there Rolo are 17 more breaching <laughs> charges. <laughs> Look, we could kill everybody. Look, everyone, sand. <laughs> There's lots more of that. Yay. Uh, Winters, roll a d10, please, for me. I'm on it. Uh, 
Is it not on the roll buttons? No, just a D10. You can click on the little dice thing on the left-hand side where there's like a whole bunch of tools oh. and then choose a D10 and whammo dammo. Thank you. Boom, a three. Okay. Uh, in the sand, maybe a, as part of your... Uh, as part of the, the sort of detritus uh, left over from your drop pod or maybe left over from a long ago... Uh, caravan, or maybe just blown here by the winds of fate, uh, you find sort of not too far from your position a what was a three? One, two, three. Oh, okay. Uh, you find um, a personal data transmitter. Now, if you guys remember from the Aliens movie, this is the little thing that she straps around Newt's uh, wrist, that Ripley straps around Newt, Newt's wrist to monitor your, her location and vitals. Hmm. That seems incredibly useful, actually. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, okay. Can I throw up the pup then and start scouting the area? Sure. Um, All right. The pup itself would be much more useful in a non sort of blasty windy environment especially one more like uh interiors for example um in that it would have a lot of interference from the radiation and from the uh, the the weather oh, okay okay but it could still do it i mean it would still be able to like map the immediate vicinity it just wouldn't do a very good job i i guess what i want to kind of do is is figure out the best reconnaissance of where things are stationed around the rail guns so that we can approach it from the least obtrusive angle as a party. Or even yeah. where those rail guns are. Yeah, yeah. sure. Um, would you like a roll for that? Yeah, yeah, please. Uh, a Comtech roll. Comtech or observation? A Comtech. Doing? Okay. If you're using your pup. All right, roll that, uh, roll that panic. Here. You also get a nervous twitch, and as I does, as you do, the stress level of everybody goes up by one. Already here. <sighs> here it comes, folks. This is how, mm -hmm. this is how it starts. Everybody goes up. Um, I think the reason why is because your pup goes up and starts to sort of scan around, and, um... You get back from the pup like a sort of holographic um, visual on what is in the immediate vicinity, um, which isn't much, like a few twisted trees. There is a road that goes east to west, uh, not too far from your position, maybe half a click out from you. Um, and how far out that goes, your pup really can't be sure. But beyond that, you don't really see anything. This is horrifying, guys. There's there's absolutely no... I don't understand. What the hell were they testing out here? If this was biological, what the shit? Oh, God. I don't think this is biology. I think this is the nuke that somebody sent here to take out whatever the fuck they were doing. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, I can use my talents... As long as they are, I can use my like, I can use a talent now, correct? If I want. It to. depends if it's applicable to the situation. What is the talent that you're talking about? Calming presence. Calming presence. Let's ah. talk about your calming presence. Would you mind clicking it so we can see what it does? Uh. Or just copying and pasting it. I'll copy paste it. Copy oh. pasta. Copy pasta. Calming presence. <gasps> He's walking napperly, everyone. I'm slinging it up. Oh, delightful. Uh, well, uh, there, we go. there we go. Calming I, presence. I, I, uh, yeah, sh I'm just going to copy the name. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let me just scroll up a bit so we can people see what that means for everyone. People find themselves relaxing whenever you are around once per turn. And let's talk about turns because there's a big difference between uh, rounds and turns and shifts in terms of time. Uh, you may reduce the stress level of another character within short range by one in addition to the normal stress recovery. 
In order to use this talent, you and any character that hopes to benefit from your calming presence must be in a relatively safe place. You cannot use this talent on yourself. So two things of note. Once, one, um, every turn, which is every 10 minutes that you are in a safe place, everybody's stress can go down by one. But because you have calming presence, everyone's will go down by two. One if you are in a safe place. That's right, one, one other, other person. person. You get to choose one other person. Uh, we'll go down by two. Uh, but you have to be in a safe place. Which this is not, I suppose. Negative. <laughs> Ghost Rider. I'm learning. All good. Yeah, you're doing great. Yeah, welcome mm -hmm. aboard. Thanks. I just got I just got told the nicest thing from chat, uh, which oh. is this. Have to sleep. Love you guys. Keep violently killing everyone, Matt G. Yay! Yay. Yay. Mother, Matt G. Thanks. <laughs> We love the first part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, that said, uh, yeah, you guys are nowhere near a railgun, it seems. <gasps> but we know okay. we know where this facility is you supposed do, to be right? Absolutely. in relation to where we landed. Yes, you are probably five clicks west of the facility. Oh, that's, that's a longer route. walk. Well, I thought we were landing closer. All right. Oh, sorry. I beg your pardon. No, I think it was... Wait, let me double check I on that. Was, I thought it was just a land like half a click out from the facility. Yeah. Let me check. I think you might be right. I'm going to check it one more time. Uh, da -da 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 oh, less than half a click. You're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Beg your pardon. All right. Well, then, uh, my suggestion is that we make our way towards this facility and uh, deal with the guns if and when we find them. That doesn't honest. sound like a bad plan. As you say this, um, uh... Uh, masters, you hear um, all of you are hearing her voice come through the uh, the person to person comms, and then her, her. It sounds like like that thing like Chevy Chase, where he's like, "I was, I got, I got." Uh, I think we should go see. And everyone's like, "Fuck!" Like your comm channel, something is interfering with it. Right. I just kind of look at everybody and I'm like, circle up that way. Mm. Fall in, fuckers. Yep. Can I gesture over to Isaac and just be like, Tom tech this shit. Make it work. <laughs> All right, then. Play, but listen, the player knows what's going on. The character probably wouldn't. Okay. Isaac, if you want to see if you can fix the comms units on everybody's um, on everybody's suit, you could make um, individual comm tech rolls for the other five people. Including yourself, that would be six. That's a lot of rolls, though, but... It's fine. We get to see who, who actually can speak and who can't. Or All at right. least speak decent. effectively and who can't. I have a decent comm tech, too. Uh, so watching. tell me who you're doing these on specifically. All right, let's start with the uh, masters for sure. Okay. Wow! Ooh. Lots of lots of successes. Lots of successes, nice. Comtech. So you can use those stunts. Remember, any chance you get, any way you want. One of those stunts is don't need to overcome again. He just fixed the whole team. I'm gonna do that. Basically, yeah. <laughs> you can do. You can use those three for another for for four people total. I'm gonna do that, yeah. Okay, so big, 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 bong. Four people. And then... So one more. I'm... You got one more if you want... Well, you got... Because technically you have to fix his own too, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so five. And for, don't forget about and Dr. Babak. Yeah. Six. Yeah. All right. One more time. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Okay, so that's that's yours. Do you want to go it again with Dr. Babak? No, we don't need him. <laughs> oh, well. Hey! Did it again. And you get to store those three stunts for later, too. Oh, yeah, I'm going I'm, yeah, I'm to stun him. Oh, you, you watch as Isaac just, like, gets in there with tools and, like, <laughs> starts tinkering with the contacts, and you guys are standing out in the blistering sun and the wind, and Isaac is just fucking, he's just doing what comes naturally, which is just, like, fixing shit. So you can do that, but you can't make my arm do all cool things? Look, look, your armor's still rather fresh and all that. It just takes a little 
bit of time, you know, to get a feel for it. You can't really rush a piece of art. Okay. Oh, okay. I, I, already. That being said. Well. The faster definitely... we help with your The faster we arm. do this, the faster we get the fuck out of here. I agree. Okay. I feel like I say there. that every time, and it never works. It never works. How about this? We get to the facility. <laughs> I'll take a look at that arm of yours. I appreciate that. Oh How God, do you want to... Oh, please ahead, just get off this fucking planet. Go yeah. ahead, Colhavy. What are you going to say? I was just going to say, how do you want to lay this spread? Do you want us to fan out? Do you want us to move into formation? How do you want to recon this? Oh, Christ. Isaac, please All remember right. to take your stress points. Because I don't see any stress on your character sheet. Wait, what? All right. Your stress I'll take points. point. Colhavy and Newt. You take flank. Siv's in the middle. Summers bring up the rear. You got it. Rifle and suppressor out. I've got my rifle out. Bets saving Betsy for later. Do you do you have stress, uh, 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 yeah. Isaac? Sorry, it's, it's funny because I don't see it on your token. I got. I got. Yeah, okay, I it's on my sheet. Are you sure? Because I only see I see zero okay. on your sheet. I see one. Uh. You did roll one when you rolled. Yeah, I'm just looking yeah. at the sheet. It says zero out of ten on this character. Yeah, I got one. Huh? That's weird. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Now okay. it just there didn't. Okay. Yeah, it didn't. It didn't show up. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. Fantastic. All right, let's start moving towards the facility. I've got my. Uh, I've got a firebomb round loaded in my grenade launcher, strapped to my rifle. So if I need cool. to firebomb what's in the zone in front of us, I can. All right. You, there's like a big old like like windy haze of sand and most likely radioactive material just swirling all around you guys. So it's difficult to see at this point. Even though you know you're going in the right direction, like you're following the roads, this, mm -hmm. this sort of haze, this um, sort of ashen fog is constantly surrounding you. And as like you the move, mist. it's it's a it's sort of like more of a, it's it's a, it's more just like like you're like you're in a like a, a, a like an ash storm. Yeah, like a dust storm, basically. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's completely silent except for the sound of the wind, until you hear more than just the wind. You hear this sort of strange hooting noise coming from behind you. I'm taking a look. I'm at the rear. As soon as we hear it, I immediately, like, signal, like, I don't say anything, but I signal a, an about face, like, everyone yep. just turn in position. So now <laughs> Summers is on point, and I'm mm -hmm. in the rear. And then you hear two of these sort of hooting noises. Shit, we just lost Talron in the zoom. Oh no! You son of a bitch! I can't believe it! <laughs> this is what happens. I make a sound, and he drops from zoom. If you die in the game, you die in real time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, He's still in Discord, so it's not his internet. I don't know what happened. Well, unless he drops from Discord right away. Tell He's her, still come there back. now, but he. This is what happens sometimes: is that um, uh, I don't know, like his Signal. his his internet goes out yeah. in California, and then like he'll go, you'll hear him, um, but he'll come back in a few minutes. Uh, so excuse me, folks, as you can only see half That's of our. Th oh, there he's back, and now fuck I mean, all my zooms are fucked up because of Talron. I love when the internet starts to die on me. Yeah, just get a backup internet. That's what I always do. It's fine. I'll just everyone change everyone around. Actually, I don't think the, I think that there's only three people I need to change around. No problems. Um, Tauron, when you dropped out, did you hear what uh, had uh, had had uh, had occurred? No, I mean, as far as I'm aware, there was just uh, the, the heavy fog thing that was going on. Okay. Um, I'll I'll say it again then. Um. This time, please don't Rewind. drop out. <laughs> um, so there's a noise 
that you all hear coming from the fog from behind you. It's this sort of hooting noise. And then there's two of them. And I signal for everyone to turn around and face backwards. So now Summers is on point and I'm in the back. You guys are still in the same place as you were. Turning around and trying to see what the hell it is. Make a perception check. Sorry, an observation check. D and D wave face. Everybody. Um, with a minus two Ooh. mod. Oh, shut up. I'll reroll that. It's all good. May I also observate? Everyone can observate. I will also attempt to observate. We've made a word. I love it. Um, one success. One successing on the observation eight states. Lit success. No. The only one who has observated with success is Monsieur La Isaac. And oh, hey, baby. Hey, 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 there we go. Buddy. And Winters. Please roll your panic, Winters. So much panic. I love it. So much panic. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> what? What? It, it tracks. It does track. Yeah, it's, it's real. What's it's... that old X Men phrase? Welcome. <laughs> sur- hope you survive the experience. Yes. <laughs> Hit that panic button, winners. I want to see how much more stress, if any, you give other people. Oh, sorry. It's all good. Zach. Panic. Boom! You drop an item. Oh, no. So, Winters, Jeez. that great gun that Summers gave you, you turn, and you're like, huh? Ah! You pull it out of the holster, and <laughs> out into the dust storm. Gone. Oh, no. I don't want to lose it. Gone. Gone? Gone. I'm sad now. All right. We'll give you another one. I got a gun. I can probably hand off. Your stress level increases by one as well, Winters. Again? Oh, no. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's the whole point of this game. Uh, I know. <laughs> did you know what you Jesus were signing Christ, up for? You are, you are just... I'm so stressed right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna gesture, I'm gonna gesture to Masters real quick and say Do you want to use a firebomb? Test out what these things are. I also, thumbs up. Bloop, 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 bloop. There's the three voices now. Are they all coming from the same general vicinity? No. Some of them are coming from behind you. Some are coming from to the sides. Well, now in front of us because we turned around. Sure. <laughs> he means we're surrounded. Blue, blue. I know. All right. All right. So drop a drop a firebomb from where we came from. Keep moving in the direction we need to go. Sounds good. Fire yeah. away. I would say firebomb to the back and then start moving very quickly mm-hmm. in the direction that we intended to go in the first place. You may fire when ready, Grigley. So we got another redemption. What do you think? Proximity timer? Another redemption. Oh, fire bombs are, it, fire bombs are a grenade round. They just go. Mm-hmm. Oh. We'll do that redemption in a few seconds. You shoot, him, you shoot him from your grenade launcher. Yeah. So fire! Fire the missiles! I am the tired. Do it with a minus two penalty then. Send fire to you said it? I get it. That was good. That was good. Fire bombs are great because they just they hit the entire zone with mm-hmm. twelve fire damage. Mm-hmm. Boop. Who's shooting? Somebody? Anyone? I, I, don't, I don't have the fire bomb. No, oh, I thought, fire bomb. oh, I, <laughs> I thought you like, did. Oh, I have the fire bomb. It's just like hey, I'm sorry, I you, thought. Are you, you gonna shoot? Are you I'm gonna shoot I'm gonna shoot? Are you gonna shoot? I'm gonna shoot. I took the I took the fire. Oh, okay, then yeah, I will. Because he said we all had to pick one. Got you. Okay, I assumed of go. the five things we've yeah. Two successes. Okay. <laughs> Boom. Ranged combat stunts. Uh, plus one damage to my twelve intensity fire. Okay. Whoosh! This enormous blast wave, approximately I don't know. 40 or 50 feet from your position, just boom, balloons out from where you hit. And you hear sort of for a grand total of two damage. And then um, make an observation roll, please, masters. Okay. 
one success. As the fire uh, clears away some of this ashen haze, you see something move inhumanly fast. Uh oh. Oh boy. Just like away from this fire. Like moving on all fours. It's sleek. It's like a shape. It's like a long, sinewy shape. I'm on camera, buddy. I'm on camera too. God damn it, Colhavy. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I, I'm on camera. We're we're all on camera, right? We're on camera. He's on camera. He's having a thing, and the shape just whoosh, out into the ashen fog. All right. Bad news. They're fucking fast. Good news. They don't like fire, guys. Fucking move now. Pump it. Let's right. let's yep. let's try to move out. Let's try you to just do. get the fuck out of this because we can't see what's happening. You do indeed. Um, you do after a while. And I, I reload as we're moving. No longer hear that sort of chirping, hooting noise. It uh, it is present for a while, but as you move towards the facility. Um, it seems to disperse and disappear. I'm going to move you now to a new map. A map generously provided to us by our wonderful friend, Jasper Nielsen Siren. You can find him at Siren's Maps on Patreon. Uh, and he's, as he's done so, just provided a real delight for us tonight. So here we go. Welcome, folks, to the Oregon Testing Facility. Okay. Let's put ourselves in position. As you get about 40 or 50 feet from the front entrance of the testing facility, you see that there is an enormous wall, like a 15 foot, like concrete wall surrounding almost the entire facility. From your vantage point, the road leads directly in and you do see that there is a, um, yeah, there's a sentry gun right at the front. It's not moving. It's not going to do, doing one of these things like which could mean one of two things. Either it's, uh, you know, not functional or directly just pointed forward. And there is a uh, security sort of station at the front gate. Hey, Newt. You remember that sentry gun remote op I checked you? Oh, wait, the remote thing? Yeah. You want to see if you can use it to uh, keep that thing from blowing us up? Okay. Might as well see if this can work my mech. Oh, wait, can I just use one of my stunts? Like on this Stunt little gadget? Stunt is a plus one. Well, on the... On the contact thing? If that's oh, the stunt for, that you yeah. took. For a, for a later related Plus one role. to a later later related role, so plus one to a later contact role. In terms oh, of like okay. radios of communication. Hmm. So you could right, use so one you could use one of your plus ones. God, how many plus ones was it actually? It was <laughs> uh, I think three, let me say. A lot. I'll scroll back up and look. Yeah. Yeah, your last contact I... roll, you only needed one and you got four, so you have three plus ones banked right now. Mm hmm. You know, let's. Yeah, I can I can use this little gadget on that little sentry turret, right, uh, mother? You certainly can if you want to. Alright, then, yeah, I think I'm gonna use, like, one of those, like, pluses, so. Go for it. With a plus one? Yes, Comtech King, banking the plus ones forever. Absolutely. Dang. Yep. Yeah, you you sort of like um you or aim. show him the stunts because he might want to use. Sure, them absolutely. Them. Yeah, the Comtech roll uh, stunts are here. There's they're good Comtech stunts. They are indeed. You gain a plus one to a later roll. You don't need to roll this overcome the same challenge. You do it quickly in half the time. You get new or unexpected information. You hide your tracks or you show off. 
So before you choose your stunts, let me tell you what happens um, from your one success. The um, the sentry gun that is positioned at the front of the gate there, um, you sort of like hack into it, and it immediately um, shows uh, as online. You're able to hack into it quite swiftly, and it deactivates. Tell me what you like to do with those stunts. Well, probably... Probably save one for Donate the Overcome again. Okay. Yep. And probably save the others for, like, later rolls. Okay. Sounds good. All right. I doubt the whole hide your tracks thing is going to be useful here, so... Well, it depends on, I guess, what you're using Comtech for. Um, what yeah, exactly yeah. would you guys like to do now that the uh, the sentry gun has been un Down. uninstalled from this from this position? I guess. I guess Here move in. Cool. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, you do see that the gate is closed, but you're able to see through it. It's like a chain link fence gate uh, that you're able to see into the main courtyard. As you approach, masters, the main. Um, uh, the main gate here with the security bunker. You see there's a figure inside. Don't forget to bring the dock with us. Oh, I won't. But you see there is a figure inside the security bunker. Inside here? Uh-huh. Does he appear to be alive? Well, you look at the, the figure as the figure sort of like turns towards you. <coughs> and oh um, as the figure turns towards you, uh, you see that uh, he has a... Um, my gun is raised. He has a thing. You raise your gun, um, and the figure's head moves towards you, and you see that its eyes are pinpricks of white light. Its skin is completely sort of plastic and without any kind of uh, demarcation of anything human at all. Uh, you've seen these kinds of, of beings before. They are sort of early synthetics made by a company called Siegson. And this is what they look like. Ooh, that's haunting. Oh no. That creepy Ooh. Ass. Oh, oh no. I'm having some isolation flashbacks. That's some creepy shit. Oh. But it is indeed guys. a synthetic. You know them as working Joes. Yes. Oh, I hate these guys. And the the sort of synthetic sees you um raise your gun. Uh towards it um, and uh, it sort of moves towards you um, slowly of course um, and says um, the following I look back at uh, the dock and I say I don't suppose you speak Russian the, the synthetic looks at you and then looks back, and the doctor says, uh, no, I, I have no skills, uh, in, in Russian at all. The synthetic then opens its mouth again and says, in a different language altogether. English, please? It says, um... Uh, let me see if I can find it. We need Microsoft Sam. Uh, no. <laughs> Flippy! <laughs> Flippy, where are you, Flippy? Flippy. Uh, <laughs> Hi. It looks like you're trying to install Xenomorphs in a new species. <laughs> Would you like help? Uh, no, it says, uh, it says, What a lovely day it is. Can I be of assistance? Yes. Would you open the gate, please, so that we can come in? Please supply retrieval code for entry. I do not have a retrieval code. Please open the gate to be helpful. Please supply retrieval code for entry. Oh God, do I just blow it up, guys? What do you think? Its eyes no. immediately turn red. Don't need Please to. supply retrieval code for entry. Newt, tell me you know what to do. 
Yeah. Um, sh yet. While this is happening, Colhaven would like to spin on the flank and keep an eye on the hooting. Or in or in or out to the hooting. Okay. Yeah, you spin around. You don't hear any hooting. The, uh, the, uh, yeah, the, um, the, uh, the synthetic, like, like, just, like, crawls out the window and says, You are in violation of security within Oregon facilities. Please do not desist. And it, like, reaches out its hands towards you, Masters. Oh, no, absolutely not. I shoot it in the head. All right, let's roll initiative. <laughs> Here we go. Yay! Frog arms. All right. Wow, um, yeah. I forgot to select my token again. I got a zero. I don't know how that's possible, but that's amazing. Dice, not card. Ah, yes. Oh, dice, motherfucker. Dice. Every time. <clears throat> and I'm going last now. Oh, god yep. damn it. I'm last. I'm not. Oh, it didn't. Oh, wait. Hold on. You got. I rolled a six. I'll reroll. Okay. You rolled a six. Yeah. I'll put you in the. I'll put you in the thing. Thank you. All right. All right. Anyone else? Bueller, Bueller, Ferris Bueller. One, two, three. Combat actions. Where are you? Five of us. One of it. Yeah. So. Isaac, it, think that in. Colhavy. Uh, zero. Yeah. Oh yeah, Isaac's got to reroll. Yeah, Isaac. What's up with the thing there, buddy? Reroll. Oh, he did a card. Yeah, choose the dice. Oh, wait. God, everyone's using cards and dice. What are you I doing? Did this, I did. Always the use the dice. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right. I always forget. It's been a while. It's one. been a while. All right, there we go. So it looks like that this creature actually does get the drop on you, Masters. Whoa, shit. All right. I better go what it does. I'm going to block. Okay. Yeah, it basically does indeed come in for a... Uh, uh, like uh, a grapple attack, like the kind of yeah, thing I mean, where it's just like trying to choke you to death. Yeah, fast action, block it with my rifle. Okay, here we go. So this is a uh, close combat. Yeah. And uh, here we go. Are you fucking? I'm. Pushing Are you that what roll. the shit? I'm pushing. Oh, wait, I'm pushing wait. that roll. Well, wait. it well hold on because I didn't get any successes like, no either. Wait, that's right. I don't need to. Okay, yeah. never mind. Nice. Yeah, no way what? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> saw arms. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> do not. It's literally like an alien uh, isolation where like the guy comes in and uh, uh, for those of you who've played it, where he's like, do not resist. Please do not resist. And you're like, yeah, fucking. Yeah. yeah, it's literally uh, like with the jack. All right. Um, it un un Unfortunately, um, it does have uh, a second attack, but it's not going to do it quite yet. Uh, I actually I have to uh, make it roll its second initiative, but I'm gonna add it first. Second attack. Boop. And I'll roll another d10. Oh, look at that, a one. So it does go right away. So it does go right away. So I'll make it go one and then four. All right, here we go. So yeah, he's like, you are resisting. <coughs> Please, do not. And then it just tries to smash you across the face. I will use my second fast action I... to block it again. Okay, your second fast action. Okay. Yes. So what? You oh. have I just a... basically, you can either do two fast or a fast enough. So that means that oh. you're using both it of your I'm, actions on I'm your I'm using turn. both of my actions to block him, yeah. I like this. Okay, cool. We're down for this. Here we go. Uh, no mods. Okay. Two successes, two successes versus panic. it's one. Yep. So, so you I succeed. You let do. me panic first. Hit your panic. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. You're good to and go. And let me look at what are blockings done. So are just close combat stuff? It's just close combat, yeah. Um, you want me to pop those out? I'm looking at them right now. Cool. I'm going to grapple them. Cool. All right. So, yeah, you you grapple the, the grip of this creature, of this thing, of this entity, whatever you want to call it, um, of this being, is extremely tough. But you are able to sort of get up. Tell me how you, how you grapple them, actually. You know what? You tell me. I'm gonna say as as he comes to me the second time, I'm just going to drop my rifle on the ground and grab both of his wrists in my hands. Okay. That and sounds that's fantastic that's to me. All right, let's go with everybody else then. Uh, let us move to Colhavy. Colhavy, you are uh, next on the board. Uh, the Joe is still up though. Yes, the Joe is up. 
He's up, but he's currently grappled. Yes. Um, can I spin fast action aim, slow action shoot, and just try and pop it in the head? Sure. You will be firing into melee essentially because everybody's in real close, you know. So does that orders. take away the plus oh, two? Oh, sorry. If you grapple your opponent as a stunt, <clears throat> both you and your opponent fall to the ground. Oh, snap. The opponent drops any weapon they were holding. The only action they can perform is an attempt to break free, which is a slow action that succeeds if the opponent wins in a post close combat roll against you. While you are grappling, the only option you can afford, apart from releasing your opponent, is a grapple attack. This works as a normal unarmed attack, but as a fast action, cannot be blocked. Nice. Cool. Clavey. So we're on the ground, but I got him grappled. So if you want to shoot him, yeah, that's firing into melee because she's, like, right there. So, that's so that with takes a, away the aim bonus. Yeah, exactly. It's a minus two right. versus a plus two, so. I'll take the cancel out. Cool. So it's just a straight roll. Ranged attack. Hang wow. On. You fucking fired his scope rifle. Four <laughs> safe. Adding, you know, you're not at an engaged range. I should have given you a minus one more, but that's okay because it's still oh. an attack. It's it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> um, also, because he's prone, anybody who does close combat against him will get a plus two. Kick him in the face. Step on his head. Okay, um, so, yeah, so that that's... is three, three, four, four five, five, five damage. Yeah. Yeah. Armor piercing. Let's see if he can uh, roll some armor, if he has any. He has not. So you shoot him right in the chest. Poof. This whole this white fluid expels out from his body. He's like, why are you resisting? And um, because of the suppressor now, if it was to potentially hear it, they'd have to roll on observations. That is true. Okay. Uh, that's my turn. Cool. Pass this uh, Masters, you've used your actions. Yep. I'm just holding his ass down. That's all I'm doing. Winters, you're up to, we're up to you. You're watching as the team is just holding this synth down. Uh, and, and uh, yeah, Colhavi has just blown a hole right through it. What do you do? Uh... Oh, well, it's not a human life, so uh, I'm going to move closer. Okay. And uh, I'm going to hit it with my shock baton. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah, plus two because it's prone. Because it's on prone. Because yep. it's down on prone land. Just but put you don't, two yeah. in the modifier. Oh, yeah, yeah, just put two. Plus. Don't put plus. We've learned that the hard way. Ooh. Hey! All right, so that is two successes. So, yeah. stunt, you can either create an additional damage. Oh, roll your power supply, too, for that, please. So just uh, hit, on the bottom left-hand corner, you should see something that says power. Uh, it should say five, because you have a stun baton that has five power. So if it doesn't say five, put a five in there. It, if not, I'll do it. It does. Good, so go ahead and hit the power Ready. button. Just hit the button. I don't see it. There's a button that says power. Oh, you mean actually here? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's not a button for me, though. All right, I'll do it for you. It's cool. Unless I'm missing it. Yeah, Try going further. Well, you just hit the so. hit word power under consumables. So it. There you go. Uh, that's because there's nothing in it. So like, yeah, let me just... That would explain why. There you go. Good. Try one more time. Okay, so you lose one of your five power for your for your stomaton, so now it's down to four. Okay. But you can do choose to do an additional damage with that stunt if you like. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Or right, you can swap initiative card. Normally it would do one him. damage. I'll do an extra damage. Okay, so two damage. All right, so um, you watch as Winters just steps forward and he goes, yeah. <laughs> And the synthetic goes. And um, I'm going to have it roll a critical injuries or synthetics nice. uh, roll because it is broken. It is down to zero 
Zero health. Here we go. Let me roll on this wonderful synthetics. Critical injuries. That is a d6. Let's do that. And let's see what happens. That's a five. That is a severe chassis breach. Internal organs. These sort of white, uh, uh, sort of spaghetti-like like tubes just spill out from where you have plunged your stun baton winters and just just spatter you with white fluid like right in the face you're like Psh! um and the 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 android is completely immobilized its eyes are still lit as in it's still alive per se but it does not move I don't think there's really anything else I can do right now, so... Can I move back? You certainly can, because it doesn't move, so... Okay. Is there a limit to how far I can move? Uh, within one uh, zone. The zones are demarcated by red. You'll see the red icons, or sorry, red oh. lines. You I can move the within the zone, or uh, uh, you can also move, uh, if you want to use uh, your fast action, you can move another zone. Okay, I'll, I'll just move back to where I was. Okay, fantastic. Let's just move on straight down the line then. Uh, that is Winter's turn. Isaac, it is yours. I was try to see if I can get this thing to shut off. Oh, it's it's yeah. like not moving. You know that it's, you know, if you, you kick it one more time, it'll probably just self-terminate. It's also possible for me to be able to, for us to be able to obtain some information, however, from this, well, working show as well. So, uh, I'm trying to think of. <laughs> Tell me what you're doing here. Uh,. I'm trying to think, too, because, uh... Ah. Uh, uh. All right, I'm just trying to get some suggestions. Uh... Oh, right, yeah, the door access codes. Any chance I can get the thing to spill it? You want to try to get the door access codes from a completely immobile android. You could also just climb mean. in the window and open the door. You certainly can do that, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? F it, yeah. I'll try to see if I can climb into the building, then. Yeah, absolutely. You can just get in there. It's within the zone. Yeah. You do All see right. a whole bunch of uh, uh, different labeled Shit. levers. One says Westgate, one that says Eastgate. I'm guessing this is the Westgate. And so, yeah. Got... Try to get this door open. Yeah, it's pretty easy. You just push the lever and... And the west gate to the facility opens for you. Well, let's go try to see if I can... Are there any, like, other security stuff around on this console, too? Um, you do not see anything other than a single... Um... Single sort of patch-in console or... or um the word I'm trying to use for it. It's a um, a computer terminal, I guess you could call it. Yeah. There's a single computer screen. Terminal, huh? Yeah. And just I can access it. Uh, sure. I'll leave that to your. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, you could do it on. I'd say you're out of combat now because the thing is immobilized. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, if you want to go for it, yeah. Um, make a uh. You see, the screen just says enter, it says please enter retrieval code on it. Any chance I can do like a work around it? Oh, uh, you could just make a contact like, roll, but uh -oh. yeah. Yeah, try to see if I can hack it. Go for it. It's going to be tough. Yeah. I just want to work out my hacking skills. Go for it. Three successes. Okay, so I have some good news and I have some bad news. Which do you want to hear first? Oh dear. Bad news. So the bad news is that your amazing communications and technical skills do not obtain this retrieval code. 
Um, that said, you are able to determine a couple things. First of all, um, this retrieval code is known only by certain personnel and or um, entities within the UPP. You're not quite sure what that means. Um, the code itself, you're not quite sure what that does, but it has something to do with someone called 1-V-A-N. 1-V-A-N. Yeah. Um, you I also know. determine that the communications array is actually broadcasting an SOS signal. That's what you get with your Comtech rolls, my friend. Oh, I think I, after that, I'm gonna, like, climb out of the building. Okay. You guys are out of combat. All right, well, that was fun. So, a couple of things discovered. Apparently, that whole gate code thing. Yeah, apparently there's, like, uh, some personal do guy around here with the kind of code goes by well 1-V-A-N though I'm assuming Ivan sounds like another but, synth this is gonna be fun but another strange thing though apparently the communications tower is giving off an SOS well Colonel did so. We were supposed to get in here and get what we could before any uh, rescue operation arrived. So I'm guessing that's uh, what they're worried about. Shutting that down might not be a bad idea. It might buy us a little time. Noted that I did forget to bring in uh, another redemption of a random piece of gear. Um, I right, will give so this one to you, yeah, to you <laughs> Isaac, since you did such a great job with that context skill. Go ahead and roll me a 1d10. Hopefully this is useful to you. Three. We got a three the last time. Go ahead and roll one more time, please. Oh, a ten. ten. I mean, you, you get everything. You're the best ever. <laughs> <laughs> nice like you. Tonight. You get everything. You download oh, the car. Yes. It's a new car. We downloaded. And a triple you, you find all the information we need. We can leave. Yay! Yay. The entire list XP of for you, an XP for you, an XP for everybody. Okay. Um. No. What you do, however, get instead is. Uh... Oh, that's cool. Uh, you see st uh, stashed under the. Um. Yeah, stashed under the desk where this computer terminal was um, is a IFF transponder. IFF and transponder? An IFF transponder, which basically prevents sentry gun friendly fire. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Ooh. So put that in your inventory and smoke it, as they say. <laughs> As Is I there a way to uh, clone that signal? Say that again, Cole Heavy? Could the, could the Comtech, uh, speaking as a player, not the character, could the Comtech clone that signal so that we all give off the same IFF? Yeah, I mean, it, the way it works is pretty simple. You just sort of, you know, you, you would use that to, like, designate friendlies and non-friendlies. So, like so if we're in a group, we'd be considered... Exactly, like exactly. I, uh, I take a look at this uh, immobilized synth on the ground. I'm just like, you know, it makes a lot of sense. You're going to fuck around with biological weapons. You're going to staff your place with synths that it can infect, which means uh, probably ain't the last <laughs> of these fuckers we're going to see. Really wish we had a chance to talk to Maitland before we had to uh, abandon ship, as it were. I'm just, just going to chuck Mark. the uh, synth inside of the uh, security station so he's not just out in the road. He just sort of like rag so, dolls inside. Have we heard anything what? else from the outside of the storm? No. No more hooting. No. Not gonna lie, though. I thought not this a bad of... idea to close this gate behind us, though, so whatever the fuck that is can't get in. Yep. 
Not gonna lie, I thought those working shows were decommissioned, but I guess they're still around. It's the UPP, hmm. man. They use what they can find. It's possible they were decommissioned and it's just been that long that it's been a black site. If it was a, if it was around long enough and nobody knew about it, they might be using decommissioned Joes off the radar. All right. Well, let's stop standing around scratching our asses and get in here and get what we came for, eh? All right. All right, Doc. We're in. You're up. Where the fuck do we go now? I, I'll be honest. I don't. I don't have a, a very good idea of this place. I'm assuming that we would have to find the computer core, wherever that is. What about your samples? I would assume that they would be in some kind of biological testing facility. I don't really have an idea, perhaps, in that large building over there. And he points uh, to two different buildings. One which is closest to you, this building over here, uh, to the sort of northeast of you. And another, uh, a smaller building, uh, to the southeast of you. Now, the first thing that you notice, actually, before you even move in that direction is a couple of things. As you pass by the security bunker, there is an enormous pile of junk to the south of you. And um, this uh, junk pile is... Let me see if I know. Yeah, there's like all these sort of useless... Uh, technical and mechanical components, stripped out uh, uh, packaging from an enormous amount of, of, of detritus, like rubbish, redundant uh, uh, parts of all kind, just piled and stacked. I, mean, I guess that's one way to deal with your garbage. Does it, do the pieces look like they were separated, intact? Were they broken apart? Is there damage of a particular style? No. It looks just like things just heaped up in a big pile. No rhyme or reason whatsoever for it. I'm just not going to... Just stay away from the garbage, guys. It's There might be scents hiding under it. Who the fuck knows? Alright, so we can close the gate behind us. The guardhouse works on both sides. That sentry turret is ours now. Um, hey, uh, Isaac, can you, uh, can you pull up any map, mapping of this place, sections? Or you could can, use the pup now. I could do, yeah, I could use the pup now too. Um, yeah, I'll throw the, I'll throw Biggs up. Okay. Let's see what he can find. Biggs floats through the air. It sort of like wobbles a little bit due to the sort of like it's unsure uh, at, from its visual spectrum of where to go. Um, so it sort of passes out of your sight into the haze um, and returns after about a minute or two, having mapped as much as what it could within the facility. Um, the facility is, uh, I'm just going to sort of give you awareness of, of what you can see, which is pretty much exactly that. Um, that there are buildings here. I'm, uh, here's what I'll do for you, actually, uh, Colhavy. I'll bring you around to the whole facility like you're a pup. Yeah. Okay. So you sort of you see this building over here. Um, actually, wait. Yeah, there you are. You go and you notice the building sort of extends over here. There is some kind of a fuel depot to the north up here. Okay. With some kind of outdated fuel uh, vehicle near it. Um, you do notice... Like a refueling vehicle? Or yeah. A vehicle with... Okay. Like a refueling vehicle, exactly. Yeah, not not like a, a tractor or a caterpillar. Exactly, exactly, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you also notice uh, that there is some kind of a generator to your immediate south. Like some, some kind of a power generator. Um, it seems to not be functioning or if it all is all functioning it's certainly not uh that guy yeah it's okay. certainly not working at full capacity the pup sort of flips around you see that there is some kind of a a vehicle garage over here and a loading dock that goes down right now the doors are closed uh the pup comes around you see a couple more vehicles obviously closed uh off to your purpose um, you also see that there is, this is what we assume to be the eastern gate. Um, 
the pup does scan another synthetic life form inside that. Um, uh, but it, it, sorry, go ahead. No, you first. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The synthetic life form does not notice the pup. But the but the Joes show up on pups. That's correct. Which is interesting because that didn't happen with uh, the bio soldiers. No, that's correct. It didn't. Interesting. Okay. Uh, the pup continues on. Uh, yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, the pup continues on uh, past <laughs> a couple of other buildings. I thought that too, Sarah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you do see, in fact, uh, a P5000 power loader in that area, which you pass by. Um, it passes by two more of these uh, synthetics who are just standing. They're not, like, talking, obviously. They're just sort of standing. They're standing completely immobile, just standing straight up um, in front of this particular building right here. And then it comes back to you up here. Great. Um, I relay all of that to the team, so we don't go in blind. Ugh. Good to all know, right, well. good to know. These are the two buildings we should check out. We should uh, probably cover our bases first. Uh, Summers, do you want to go shake hands with those two down there? Oh, me? Two of them? Well, I mean, I, I could do it from the junk pile if you really want, but... Uh, we can also just leave them the fuck alone until they bother us. Also fair. Still kind of curious on them. You know All right, Doc. Between the two, which of these buildings do you think is going to be more important? Which is uh, which is more likely? Um. Well, I'll be honest. I don't really have an opinion. Perhaps the closest one is the easiest one to get to. I swear, where you sends us the smartest fucking sieves. Hey, now, Winters is doing all right. She looked pretty bad at when our pod got shot down. I look over, I look over at Winters, and I was like, "You weigh you?" No, I. And that's why you got a head on your shoulders. All right, let's go. Go, oh, Amy laughs at that. <laughs> All right. Uh, can I see an entrance to this building anywhere? You do, in fact, see a doorway. Am I heading towards it? You are. Okay, great. Okay. Uh, you see, uh, over the doorway it says workshop. Well, that sounds like it, uh, might have some samples. Come on, Doc, move your ass. Actually, you would be saying it in like Russian. So that's true. Then I don't know what it says. You wouldn't say. <laughs> I really. There needs to be a talent. Can Ruster? Oh. Can masters take Russian lessons? Yeah, on the exactly shift? right. Keep running okay. into these you know, UPP hopefully fuckers. Hopefully, they got some nice toys. Hopefully, at least they got some nice toys in there. Hey, I'm gonna open the door. All right. You open the door. I don't have an interior. Oh, I have. Map. I did pick up my rifles. By the cool, way. cool. Um, I don't have an interior map, so I'll just tell you if you. Okay. Uh, that's fine. So I'll tell you what it is that you see. Um, okay. Uh, da, 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 here we go. Uh, there it is. I'm just trying to figure out the best way of explaining this. Okay, that's fine. This building is, um some kind of machine shop it um as you walk inside the the smell of burnt metal like and um and sort of uh dust and rust like that coppery taste uh comes into your your nose and mouth actually you have your your suits on so you wouldn't actually taste that at all um <laughs> but yeah i mean nor would you smell anything. Um, there's just like a, that, that, that same outside haze just comes in through the windows, which have all been broken for the most part. Um, but you do see that there are numerous machines, fabrication machines, uh, which are used to build probably tools or, or parts of tools or components. Um, it's all like very bespoke stuff we're talking about here. Um, you, you think that if you like 
needed to repair something, that any and all tools that you would need, actually, you could use something in here pretty well to do so. Um, you also happen to notice that towards the back of the workshop are two, uh, as you call them, prom dresses. Yay. Don't need one yet, but nice to know they're around. Okay. Three prom dresses in one location? You get to go shopping. I do. Um, all right. <clears throat> and who went in first? I did. Cool. Make a make an observation for me. Yeah, you should start sending in more observ more observant people first. Hmm. Ah, two successes. As you're looking towards the back of this um of this building towards the prom dresses, something odd catches your eye. You see that most of the material goods are sort of stacked up, and you see all these sort of like tubes and pipes and wires and stuff like that. And then the tubes and pipes move. I'm going to use my stunt for are there more of them close by? Is that happening anywhere else? You don't see anything like that. It, the, the, the tubes and the pipes sort of strangely sort of shift and then there's a rustle of movement and then there's nothing. I kind of do one of these and I point to the corner where that was happening. I say, I think we got company. Well, that ain't good. <laughs> Beyond that, inside the workshop, there really is nothing else. And that's this whole building, or this is just the first room? No, that is the whole building. I kind of look at the others and just, like, quietly say in the comms, well, I don't see shit that looks useful in here. Actually, yeah, there's, there's quite a lot that's useful in there. You just I mean, it. for our mission. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, if nothing we need is here, <coughs> might as well move on. Unless we plan on jury-rigging something to get those fuel cars to drive into things, and then strap a firebomb to each so that we double the explosion side. Well, let's say but, we know it's here, but right now, as fun as that sounds, it's not exactly helpful. Alright. Should we close the door behind us? Did you... Yeah, there's this? something in here. Alright, so let's leave it in for a second. Gets it... Yep, agreed. They... Back Step out back outside. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're back outside again. Matt, I am fading fast. Just we are there. almost done. All right, sweet. Oh, Havy, lead the charge towards this door. Nice Do and it. slow. Scope out, or uh, rifle out. Scope Masters is going to pull up the rear weapon out because. The, that movement has got her on edge. Mm. There is, there is something fucking here. You know what? I'll give you a stress point for that one, sir. Just because yeah, it's okay. been, it's got you on edge. It does have. I, I, I accept that stress point because I am, I'm waiting for something to jump out and try and eat me. I feel like that every day. Um, <laughs> I kind of look over at Newton. I'm like, yo, stick close. We don't know what's at here, but I guarantee whatever it is, it ain't friendly. Okay. Um, who's going in there? I'll go first. Carefully gun out observation roll. Uh, okay. Sure. Make me one observation just to start off with. Cool. Make a panic. Nice. Yerp. You're fine. Deuce. Great. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, and for stunts... So the door opened on its... It was fine to open on its own? Totally fine. Can I sort of, Knowing what Masters told us about in there, can I use... Are there more of them close by to sort of particular focus? And then save the other one for later? Sure. Absolutely. Just keep track. Writing it down. Cool. I don't think there is an observation save stunt. Oh, uh, yeah. No. 
Let me give They're you all immediate use. Is it coming okay. for me? Are there more of them close by? How do I get in past away? There you go. So then, then let's do... Are there more of them close by? Does something look like an ambush here? Um, how do I get in past away? Does it look like there's multiple routes of entry in and out of this building, or is it a single door sort of kill box? From where you are standing, there could very well be a, a door on the other side of the of the facility. All right, so I'm, I'm going to gently ease forward, but specifically look over to Summers, so that Summers and I are flanking the dock and moving in a tight three formation to protect the brains of this next step. Superb. All right. You all walk into this building. And as you do so, you note that it is kind of enormous. This is clearly the heart of this facility. You know this because you see an enormous enormous number of cranes coming down from the ceiling and dangling chains for what you could only assume would be lifting components, machine components. There's also a walkway running around the inner wall on the second floor level. There are multiple uh, blank screened computer and medical stations. But what sits at the heart of this building, of this single roomed building, are a dozen clear three by three by three meter airtight plastisteel cube chambers. No. which have seemingly um, like um, airtight entries on either side of them. And you see as you walk by them inside that there are written in Russian like test A and then crossed out. Test B, crossed out. Test C, crossed out. Test D, success. Test E, success. Test F, success. Test G, success. Test H, this one is much bigger than the other cubes. This one is a perhaps six foot by six foot, sorry, this would be more than that, not three meters. This would be like a four meter by four meter by four meter cube. So we're talking like 12 feet tall. On the side, there is written in marker in Russian, some word, and then under it in exclamation, sorry, uh, uh, quotation marks in, in English, um, the word... Gosh, let's see if I found it. Uh, totally peaceful end to the mission. <laughs> it is It is a single word, and it, it sort of surprises you because you're like, what the fuck does that even mean? And the word is... Oh, where is it? Sorry, I apologize, guys. Yes. Contention. The word is actually... It's written in English. It is the word Bolshoi. B O L S H O Y. But they made ballerinas, okay? Bolshoi. And there's just like check mark, check mark, check mark, check mark, check mark. Inside this cube, and this is where we're going to end for tonight, there is no fewer than three. What seem to be people, but their their uh, knees are driven up towards their chest in like a fetal position. Their hands are by their side, and their skin and bones are sort of being sloughed off. Their face is melding into their legs. Their hair has come out of their head, and their whole body has been sort of compressed into this almost egg-like shape. 
there are three of these things inside. And that's what we're going to end for tonight. Creepy! <laughs> Not good. Not good at all. Inji. No. Oh boy. Inji. Don't break the glass. Things that don't fit in a suitcase for 100, Alex. In case of emergency, <laughs> do not break glass, and this is exactly why I asked about the fucking containers. <laughs> in case of emergency, nuke it from orbit. It's sure. the way this game works, folks. It's the way this game in works. In case of emergency, nuke it from orbit. All right, we are done for tonight. Thank you guys very much for hanging out. Thank mm -hmm. you, Sarah, for uh, hanging out just a little bit later, later than one. You're the best, uh, except I have to I switch love you all. all the, the people's names around because of the Zoom issue that we had from before. That's okay. I'll fix it very quickly, and that will uh, work out to everyone's advantage. Um, until then, though, why don't we start with uh, just a little quick sign-off. Uh, Patrick... Yeah. Tell me where you, we people can find you on the internet. As always, you can frequently find me behind the bar at Hell's Kitchen because that's what I do. Uh, but patmarin.com for theater and D&D related stuff linked to my cast party DMing of which I am currently working on my May. Uh, I'm on the schedule for the, the free one and I, I think I have my idea down now. Hey. Uh, so cast-party.com uh, where some fantastic DMs can provide some great D and D experience for you. Mostly working with Five E, but all of us have different things. Check the website out for more information. And for bartending related projects, hiring me out for uh, whiskey consultation, private tastings, please go to barrover.com. Awesome, thank you, uh, Scepter. Bring us on into where we people can find you on the internet. You'll find me on Twitter. I carry around them. I'm usually posting like nerd stuff, art related stuff, video games. Whatever comes, whatever kind of entertaining things are these days, especially that. You know what? Never mind. Okay. Regardless, though, just. Yeah. He's sleepy. Yeah, people are getting a little, a little, uh. Yes. Probably, it's loopy yeah. time. It is. It's like, what, what's going yeah. on with you guys? It's like, what the. It's all good. Uh, all right, cool. Uh, Sarah, tell us where people can find you on the internet. Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm sleepy. What's going on? And uh, you can find again. me. I have not been sleeping well this week. I'm sorry. You can find me on the interwebs at Lovely Llama on Twitter and Instagram, where I post things. Most recently, the views from my new job, which is on the 47th floor of a building going up over on the Hudson River. So it's pretty views. Holiday. And yeah. Thanks, that's, that's, that's all I got for you. Jonathan, where can people find you on the internet? You can find me on Twitter at freshly underscore zested and on Instagram at blue before orange. It is cold, but it will get warmer. And when it gets warmer, that means barbecue. Hell yeah. Good porn. Nice. Oh, so good. So good. And finalmente, Maeve, how'd you, how'd you find uh, Alien Maeve for your first time? Ah, it was a lot of fun. It's fun. I didn't die, so that's a... This, That's a bonus. It's always good. And even if you do, you need to just throw another character on the Barbie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but I had a lot of fun tonight. Uh, you can find me at Maeve Climber on Twitter, uh, also on Discord on the same tag, and quite a few other places. Uh, also, you'll see me tomorrow with Sarah for Ravenloft. Yay, Ravenloft. Nice. Yay, awesome. Ravenloft. Yes, more Ravenloft action tomorrow. Um, that's it for tonight. I have been your erstwhile game mother i'm my tired myself so uh, my face and my my whole the mouth and thing it didn't work it too well tonight i was searched for words searched for concepts they just sort of flew out and then never flew back in so i don't know it was weird tonight but hopefully you enjoyed it anyway i don't yeah. care. um you can catch us here on slices and dices every thursday and friday well most most thursdays like two two Thursdays a month, but most Fridays actually, uh, where you can catch us doing role playing games of all kinds, mostly Dungeons and Dragons, but others like Alien and Call of Cthulhu and uh, Pathfinder and uh, Fiasco and all kinds of other things. Uh, you know that the, the, these kinds of things are the fun fun things that Honey we do. Honey Heist, one Honey day Heist, again. Burn Bright, uh, Star Wars Five E, Dread, all kinds of shit. I mean, why not? Um, and we'll be doing more of that uh, 
for sure in in the near future as well as some new rpgs that i just picked up uh which i'm not going to spoil because the plans are still germinating and i still and have one a... that i want to play too Don't yes me. sarah you have uh, a vason uh, another yeah. amazing uh uh game Free also game. from our friends at Free League, uh which Very we want cool. to to jump into and play as well so uh with that folks I have nothing else to say except get some sleep, folks. Enjoy your the rest of your week. And, uh, you know, obviously, uh, as the saying goes, uh, remember, take care of each other. But don't forget to take care of yourselves. Because God knows sometimes we need it. Um, all the best to everyone out there in the world. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's a world that uh, is a, a little bit beshimmeled right now, as my father would say. So let's, uh, let's see if we can try to be kind to one another. Love to everybody. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye, Peter.